beautiful Monday morning. I hope that yours was a great weekend and looking forward to greatness right here on Morning Cafe. Thank you so much for always keeping it the home of untold stories. And as I have said, the program is Morning Cafe right here as I take you through what is happening in the world of news and I mean kickstart your week in a very good note, always informing you, enlightening you and perhaps for us to have these conversations that are crucial. I mean, we always make sure that we open the lines for you to interact with us. The hashtag is Morning Cafe at Linda underscore Lela TV 47 KA across all our social media platforms. 22047 is the SMS short code and the numbers to call will be running down on your screen just so you can speak to us. We value your feedback and therefore listening to what you have to say, especially as to the question of politics for 14 days to the general election, exactly two weeks. Uh, just how well prepared as we as a nation or are we as a nation uh, to make sure that we get ourselves the best kind of leadership. Some will be lucky enough to find themselves back. Those are members of parliament, members of county assemblies, women representatives, you know, governors and all that. Those ones that are seeking, uh, you know, the mandate perhaps for the third time in the current dispensation of the 2010 constitution or others then will be coming in for the second time. And so as we have this conversation, we seek to understand just how well informed the Kenyans are to make this candid decision, those ones that are undecided as to who they will vote in, those ones that have already decided they have taken a side, they are supporting a certain party, just how well coerced are they in terms of making sure that that D-Day, uh, that is on the 9th of August, then they'll wake up to go and cast that vote. Uh, there have been fears of a possible uh, question of apathy and therefore we cross fingers that Kenyans will understand how important this process is uh, to their lives so that at least moving forward then they would go out there and elect the leadership that they would want to take them to the next dispensation. We'll look at this as well as the struggles of IABC as they exchange barbs, not as such, by the likes of Kinoti and we get to understand what really informs this in terms of preparation of the general election and so much more as well as we await that crucial day of the debate that is tomorrow the presidential debate right honorable raila odinga uh, says that he will not be able to attend the debate i do not know whether he's going to make good his threat but then again we seek to see whether there's going to be some changes in this very last hour so karibu sana it's all about politics and so much more that is playing out in the country and therefore it is important that we are part of this conversation Conversation as well. We appreciate those ones that have made us proud. Career bugs, second gold for Kenya. Yes, uh, more or less like what it is that we witness with Rudisha. They say, Thank you, Emmanuel. God is with us in Oregon. And we celebrate this great win after Coril delivers important victory to emulate Rudisha in 800 meters race. Kenya re establishes dominance in the two lap event. Again, we celebrate the brave aspect that the likes of of Chebet as well have put up to us making us that you know make sure that at least we are at the top of the map when it comes to the question of athletics and so we celebrate that and we have so much more that we'll touch on this morning later on we'll be getting to the question of health with Dr. Ignatius Kibe a nice conversation as pertaining to general care of the skin across you know all the different parts of the body and so we welcome you to be part of that as well it would be instrumental for you to understand some more as to this conversation and so much more on the question of ICT. We also get to understand how important this conversation is after that signing of the ICT bill by President Uhuru Kenyatta recently and we get to understand how far it will take us in terms of making sure that we realize gains in this space of technology. So we have all that lined up for you and so much more. Dr. Dan Kanojuang will be joining us, Zach Kinuthia, as well as Dr. Barak Muluka for the very same conversation of politics. So make sure that you keep it right here. The Standard Newspaper, The Daily Nation, as well as The uh, People Daily are the papers that we're looking at this morning. Front page of The Standard Newspaper, beauty products made from a snake venom. A story captured on page three. This conversation of the snake, of ganja, and so much more is out here. And everybody is having the same, well, courtesy of the likes of Waja 
Roger Coyer and his running mates and those ones who would then subscribe to what it is that they present as their manifesto and also the changes that they seek to bring to the people of Kenya in the event that they are elected uh, you know, to the presidency. And so we'll be looking at this story captured on page three, interesting, some of these facts that you perhaps might need to understand before you go out there and cast that vote if you are our Jokoya supporter. Now, uh, DeSantos' divisive in death, a story captured on page 30, are still a conversation uh, that is there as pertaining to what is happening in the African scene. And so much adjustments in terms of what is happening in Angola and also different countries. We have seen that wind of change uh, that has played out across the African uh, spaces. And I mean, we also look at the leadership or the kind of leadership that we have enjoyed as a people of Africa, uh, the kind of faces that have manned the aspect of Africa. And therefore, this one that has been captured on page 30, Angola Santos, a divisive figure in life and in death outside election cycles. De Santos was a withdrawn president. De Santos came to power in September 1979 at the age of 37, still celebrating his life and the gains he's been able to make for the people of Angola as well. Others, you know, registering some of the disappointments that they witnessed during his reign. And we continue saying that may his soul then rest in eternal peace. That one is one of the stories that has been captured on the front page, as well as this one on Mata Sports as we celebrate career uh, for bagging that second gold. And also date holiday saves state for about 256, a story captured in the business world. But still, even if we speak about being saved, we all understand how much we have run into debt in totality. And those ones that are campaigning right now are campaigning on basis of, you know, just getting us to have that economic emancipation. They give promises as to how they seek to make sure that they address the question of debt for the country. And then we shelve that one to a bit of politics that has been captured on the front page. The biggest story of it all is Kinoti versus IBC. Just who is telling the truth on the, on the Venezuelans? Yes. Who is saying the truth? DCI claims the three are in the country to execute ill motives, but their host says that they are supposed to train IBC staff on support solutions with Ruto telling police to keep off election matters. The Venezuelans are part of the team charged with this responsibility of training uh, about support solutions on behalf of Smartmatic International holding a story captured right there. And this is according to Abdullahi Abdi Mohammed, CEO Seamless Limited, a story that is right there and as pertaining to the existence of the coming in of these Venezuelans, you know, with a lot of discrepancies and finding themselves into the country, uh, leaving questions that need to be answered while IBC has come out in defense of them. Raila walks out on media debate. As a leader says, he will not, uh, he will hold a town hall meeting instead of a sharing platform with UDA candidate, but organizers insist it will go on a story captured on page six, instrumental that we are keen to follow up on the same and we get to see whether the right Honorable Raila Udinga would make uh, you know good his threat or whether he would change his mind and just how instrumental that would be. Those are some of the things that we'll be discussing this morning as well as you have seen captured right here on the front page 24 dead in Neethi Bridge bus crash. A death toll cow could rise in coming hours and this is a story captured on the back page. This is quite unfortunate played out yesterday. The injured were taken to Chuka County Referral Hospital and PCA Chogori Mission Hospital and modern coast bus was heading to Mombasa from Meru Town when the accident happened at the notorious Nithi Bridge Black Spot. I hope that this then will be addressed as we see those ones that have lost their lives may their soul rest in eternal peace and also give uh, may the heavens give strength to their families. We'll be giving you updates of that as and when it gets to hit the editorial desk. Inside Raila and Ruto Business Empires, a uh, story captured on the front page, this 14 days to the general election, it is important that Kenyans look into the kind of leadership that they set to bring on board, especially on the question of who's going to be the next CEO of the country. The right honorable Raila Odinga's prospects in comparison as well to that one of Deputy President William Ruto appear to be right at the top, well, in relation to also the other ones. 
if we are to draw parallels and you realize that many have argued it will be evidently a two horse race and so we get to understand just what do they own and especially at this very point when it appears like they are in the business of hunting on each other and so the right honorable Raila Odinga says that he will keen to address the question of corruption and in which most of his allies have argued the name of Ruto then will definitely surface and on the other side they DP's side also they say they have their own mechanisms of making sure that they will address the questions of state capture during this reign of President Uhuru Kenyatta as well as just dealing with the corruption cases that will have otherwise been mentioned at this very spot before they get to ascend to power. Away from it, how Moi settled on Uhuru's as as a successor, as well as this conversation on IBC, Kinoti takes the war to Jabukati over Venezuela. And so we'll be having all these conversations right here. Those are the key stories, more or less the same stories across all the newspapers. And so in this very moment, uh, I guess it's important that we perhaps take a look at what is happening on the roads briefly. Uh, being a Monday morning, you would expect that the roads are not so friendly. Uh, but then again, it looks like it's not as bad, uh, apart from the the usual notorious sports and when i say the usual notorious sports i mean places like these areas of pangani where we have different uh, you know vehicles finding their way or different roads uh, getting themselves uh, you know uh, connected uh, getting into the city and so on this very spot you'd expect uh, tenets of traffic as you can evidently see so if you are uh, taking thika road Mutaiga road coming from this size of kamiti road and all roads that uh, you know then get to this level of pangani then you'd expect uh, some bit of a delay if you are on that very qu uh, direction or as you get yourself into the city but it's not so bad this morning that is to tell you that as well uh, thicker road is not looking ugly it's all clean it's all clear uh, from this size of the garden city down from kasarani mwiki down from this side of gedo rhine it is all clean so if you're taking that direction pretty much of an ease that you'd expect this morning i know it's not drizzling it's not so bad and there Therefore, you would expect uh, all the roads or a majority of the roads in the city to be all clean. The northern bypass, as always, is clean as you go to these areas of Runda uh, from the sides of Kiambu and all the way down. It is all clean this morning. And on this other side, let's see whether there's another road that would get us a little bit worried. Yes, Kangundo Road. Uh, there is some tenets of traffic around Kangundo Road. Uh, this is pretty much common. You would expect such. But not so bad that it could get you delayed for a long time and therefore if taking that direction you know what to brace yourself for the outer ring road on the other side as you connect from thicker road is not looking all the way uh, is not looking all bad down to the don home area some tenets of traffic there as you get to connect to jogo road as well as these other roads and that is lunga lunga but it is not all bad and down to the Embakasi, uh, that is the airport road, is not looking all bad this morning, as you can evidently see, as you also get to connect us down to Mombasa Road from this bit of the Nairobi Expressway, the Imara Daima areas, and going all the way down to Capital Center and down to the Nyayo National Stadium, it is all clean. Mombasa Road does not look so bad this morning. Connecting to this other side of uh, the Wilson Airport, that is around Langata Road. Langata Road is all clean this morning, as you can evidently see. And Bagadi Way as well is not looking so bad. The southern bypass is smooth as always. And also Ngong Road on this other side. Uh, some bit of traffic around Ngong Road, but it's not all bad, as you can evidently see. When you see it yellow, then it tells you that, well, uh, it has started building up and therefore if you can step out of the house as early as now this will help you a lot in evading that aspect of traffic the land this road on this other side is not looking so bad uh, tennis of traffic uh, that perhaps would culminate from these areas of jogo road jogo road is a little bit clogged up especially around these areas of makadara and therefore if taking jogo road you know what it is that you expect but then again it's not so bad as i have said the enterprise road lunga lunga road all these uh, small small roads uh, within 
the industrial area not looking so bad let's see whether there's any other place that we'd want to see or maybe to have attention on the abc place Wayakiwe is all clean as you can see connecting to the likes of james gishuru and down to gitanga road uh, down to the areas of lovington it is all clean this morning naivasha road as you can evidently see kikui road all looking good the likes of limuru road are all smooth and so not much of traffic this morning on the roads of Nairobi. In case of anything, I will be here uh, to update you some more. Let's uh, briefly look at some of these stories prepared by my team. And hours after Azimio Laumoja presidential candidate, that is right, Honorable Raila Odinga, said he will not attend the presidential debate Tuesday. Deputy President William Ruto has alleged that the move by Odinga is due to lack of an agenda for Kenyans. Even as that unfolds, the presidential debate Secretariat has affirmed that the debate will be conducted as planned at the Catholic University Eastern Africa and issues or to be discussed have been shared to all the presidential candidates as Joash Onsari reports. In a statement released by Raila Odinga Presidential Campaign Secretariat, Azimio flag bearer Raila Odinga will not attend the presidential debate on Tuesday. In a letter released to the public, the Raila Odinga Presidential Secretariat says, traditionally, the televised debates provides an opportunity for the public to listen to leaders and make an informed decision during election. The Secretariat alleges that this year's debate is structured with opposing candidates, which the Raila Odinga Secretariat says is a bad idea. Further, the letter states that Odinga has a good reputation and will not share the stage with his main opponent, Deputy President William Ruto, calling on the presidential debate secretariat to focus on corruption, integrity, ethics, and governance failure to. He won't attend. Instead, the secretariat will plan for a televised town hall debate at Jericho Social Hall in Nairobi's Eastlands with ordinary Kenyans to offer solutions to challenges faced by common Kenyans. United Democratic Alliance presidential candidate William Ruto, while in rallies in Kericho, Narok and Kisi counties has responded to Raila's position on the debate, saying Odinga has no agenda for Kenyans. Our competitors don't have a plan. They don't have an agenda. That is why they cannot articulate any agenda because they don't have one. The Kitendawili man, the man of riddles, the man of Kitendawili, the man of Tibi Mantialara, the man who has no plan, has run away because the people of Kenya are demanding from us leaders to have clarity in what we want about Kenya and the future of our country. The leaders allied to Azimiola Umoja One Kenya, led by Azimiola Umoja Presidential Campaign Chair, Deritu Moreidi, have stated that they are in support of Azimiola Umoja One Kenya presidential candidate Raila Odinga's decision skip presidential debate and instead hold a town hall engagement with the citizens. Uh, we do not think that we should participate in duping Kenyans. Now our competitors um, routinely take truths and twist them uh, to achieve political objectives and we don't think that that is in order. Uru Kenyatta is finishing his second term. He did not come for the debate in 2017. He was uh, elected as a president. So this has no bearing at all because especially as Moishimo uh, Pasaris has said, no issues are actually canvassed in this debate. If the debate goes in the right direction where you are asking every presidential candidate, in this sector, what are you going to do? But if we narrow down the way we did, even on math, even on EGAD, surely, even as that unfolds, the presidential debate secretariat has affirmed to the public that the debate will go on as planned on Tuesday at the Catholic University for East Africa, Queer, main campus in Karen, Nairobi, from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. 
Further, the debate secretariat says it has shared the issues to be discussed during the debate to all presidential candidates. The secretariat says the debate will follow the set guidelines and the moderators will select questions which they shall not share with the candidates and will not meet with any of the campaign teams or the candidates. The presidential debate secretariat has reiterated that they are committed to delivering a debate founded on the principles of fairness, integrity, independence and accountability as enshrined in the presidential debates guidelines. Josh Onsare, TV 47, Nairobi. And as the new presidential candidate, Raila Odinga, made a series of rallies in the mountain uh, region, uh, starting off with campaigns in the counties of Tharakanithi and Embu counties before proceeding to Laikipia. TV47's Moige William with more. <laughs> Raila Odinga and the Azimio Laumoja One Kenya Alliance troop pitched tent in the mountain region. The team toured four counties of the Rakanidi, Embu, Laikipia, and Yandarwa as campaigns ahead of the August general election enter home stretch with Azimio leaders urging the region to rally behind Raila's state house bid. <laughs> Accompanied by several leaders, Raila promised to equally distribute resources by having each county have one project to ensure everyone gets a piece of the national cake. Sasa, sit masema. Tutajenga viwanda. Tukunataka kutoa Kenya kumahali ya kwa kutagamea tu kilimo tulende kwa pande ya, ya viwanda. Leaders accompanying Raila took a swipe at Deputy President William Ruto and his Kenya Kwanza Brigade accusing him of corruption, adding that Ruto had contributed to the economic mess that Kenyans are experiencing and calling on Mount Kenya residents to vote for Raila in the upcoming polls. Katikati ya baba Na huyu jamaa mwingine mkola iwe kubwa kiasi ya kwamba hatuna muda wa kupoteza baadaye. Sisi tu tunataka mtupe hiyo nafasi tuendeleshe kazi ya kubandilisha Kenya. Vijana waweze kupata kazi, wakulima waweze kupata pesa kwa mfuko, ndio Kenya iende mbele. Na hiyo haitawezekana kama hatutapambana na wafisandi. Western ngome ya baba. Hata mlima Kenya sasa imekuwa ngome ya baba. Ya baba, vindu viche njanga. Moige William, TV 47. And on the other side, Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance presidential candidate William Ruto led his brigade in a vote hunting mission in Kericho, Kisei and Naro counties as he intensified his state house bid 15 days to the general election. As Mike Gungo reports, Ruto alongside Ford Kenya party leader Moses Wetangula and his ANC counterpart Musali Mudavadi urged their supporters to turn up on August 9th in a mission to stabilize the falling economic situation. With the August 9th general election drawing near, the two main presidential contenders have extended their charm offensive to consolidate votes in different parts of the country in a bid to crack the 50% plus one vote equation after the election. In the company of Ford Kenya Party leader Moses Wetangula and ANC chief Musali Mujavadi, Deputy President William Ruto earlier on stormed one of his strongholds, Kericho County, where he enjoys a big following from area residents. At Kapka Tet, the second in command was treated to a stirring welcome from area residents as he strives to cement his long term relationship with Rift Valley residents. All their campaign, their campaign financing is financed by money from the COVID billionaires. 
is corrupt money that is driving the uh, Azimio campaign. The cost of living being the topic of the day, the Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade maintains that they were still on course to liberate Kenyans if they take over power next month. Mimi nataka niwaambie there is only one plan ya kupigana na ufisadi Kenya hii. Na hiyo mpango iko na Kenya Kwanzaa. Mr. IG, instead of harassing the IBC, can you tell us why some people in Kuzimia or Azimio have been given a fleet of police vehicles whereas police officers, police stations do not have vehicles to serve the people of Kenya. With less than 15 days remaining to the general election, Azimio la Umoja flag bearer Raila Odinga once again found himself on the receiving end following his stand on whether he will attend the Tuesday presidential debate or not. They have no agenda. Hawana sera ya kuuza. Kwa hivyo wanashangaa watakuja kufanya nini kwa debate. Na mimi nataka niwaambie, there is one plan in Kenya. Our competitors don't have a plan. They don't have an agenda. That is why they cannot articulate any agenda because they don't have one. IBC is a constitutional body established to manage elections. Na wewe huna authority kikatiba wala kisheria to start interfering, intimidating and harassing IBC. Ruto's allies blamed President Huru Kenyatta and his handshake partner Raila Odinga for the hard economic times being experienced in the county, claiming that the Azimio la Umoja One Kenya coalition has nothing to offer Kenyans. Wewe ni mradi ama project ya Uhuru Kenyatta. Uliza Uhuru Kenyatta akuje afanye debate na William Ruto. Sisi kama Kenya kwanza tupatie William Ruto wa bunge wa kutosha ndiye akifika Nairobi aendeshe shughuli ya serikali pia kuingilia na mtu yeyote. That Matiangi will go home with Uhuru Kenyatta 15 days from now. That Kebicho will go home with Uhuru Kenyatta. After traversing Kericho, Kisi and Narok counties Sunday, the Kenya Kwanza Brigade will tour Nandi, Elgeo, Marakwet and Uwasengishu counties Monday to solidify Ruto's support. Mike Kagongo TV 47. Waenda nyubani. Na ndio tunasema sisi kama Kenya Kwanza now, the Nairobi Senatorial Hopeful and ODM Secretary General Edwin Sifuna has asked IBC Chairperson Wafula Chebukati to either surrender from office or explain to Kenyans the connection between IBC and the Venezuelans who were on Friday arrested at the JKIA upon arrival. Sifuna, who was accompanied by Nairobi Woman Representative Esther Pasares and ex Nairobi County Speaker Beatrice Elachi, were attending a church service at Kasarani's synagogue. Or of hope uh, condemned Chebukati for the incident which has raised a number of questions on the credibility of the commission. Even this to come and in the morning you're waking up on Venezuela. What is Venezuela now? Honestly, Chebukati. Venezuela for all the countries in terms of IT, now Venezuela. Even Kenya is very high in IT. I wish you just used our young people here. They are much better. So it, it is wrong, even as a country, when we are talking for some countries where we know that our country is a hub of IT across Africa, and even in Europe they respect us. You know, Kenyans have always questioned whether IBC is mature enough uh, and clear with its mandate to deliver free, fair and credible elections. Uh, we are a bit sad uh, to see that uh, you have strangers that come into the country with expired passports. Uh, first of all, the impunity that they can actually enter this country, that means they must have protection from very high, high officers. Um, and uh, I think the DCI should be able to disclose that. The people understand that the people responsible for getting us in the mess do not have those solutions uh, for us. So we are telling Chebukat that there are going to be very grave consequences for you, Mwanao Papa. I have to address him in our local dialect. Mwanao Papa, Chebukat, there are going to be very serious consequences if you mess with the will of the people in this election. There is nobody in Azimio interested in postponement of this election. We want this election to come and go. 
Well, when it gets people speaking their mother tongues, then you know that indeed it's that moment of politics. So we'll be focusing on that later on. Presidential aspirant under the Agano political party, Wahiga Mwaure, has said that he has faith in the IBC's ability to conduct free and fair elections. And as long as its operations are not interfered by some politicians are now speaking after attending a Catholic church service in Nairobi, Wahiga Mwaure noted that the IBC has the freedom to execute its duties freely with no interference by political leaders so as to achieve its objectives. Mwaure, however, has asked the body to clear the air on the visit of, uh, to Kenya by the three Venezuelans in order to establish a trust with the Kenyans. What's going on between IBC, DCIO, but also some of our competitors, the two sites, um, particularly the so-called top two sites, uh, Kenya Kwanzaa and Azmio, is very sad. But Kenyans, I want to tell you, open your eyes, a Kenya to Amuke, I'm Kenwa Kenya, and see what's happening. This is what has happened in previous years. There has been monkey businesses, but now they are coming out because the sites that have been in previous, who are there in 2017, 2013, are now the ones, you know, on opposite sites. We are coming in as the new broom, and they are now checkmating each other, checkmating, because they know what they have been doing. Of course, IBC, uh, you need to come very clean and say, who are those people? Uh, DCIO, we need to hear very clearly also whether you arrested them, whether they arrested, whether you are deporting them. But the central message to you from us, from me and Kenyans, is that we want elections on 9th. Kenyans want a clean slate. They want to vote and vote in a new leadership. And State House earlier Sunday held a Thanksgiving prayer and worship service that was set to reflect on the successful 10 year tenure of President Uhuru Kenyatta and Margaret Kenyatta. Beatrice Watari with more. State House employees drawn from the main presidential residence in Nairobi and other state residences and lodges spread across the country convened for an interfaith Thanksgiving service to reflect on President Uhuru Kenyatta's 10-year rule as his tenure comes to an end. <laughs> The service led by Bishop Abraham Mulwa of the African Inland Church was attended by top state house employees, including Comptroller of the State House Kenodia Mbogwa, as well as the Chief of Staff in the Office of the First Lady, Constance Gakonyo. In his message to Uhuru, Bishop Mulwa urged the outgoing head of state to never tire in doing good, further congratulating him for dedicating 10 years to serve the country. I want you to look at what is your position for 10 years in, st in State House. And what have you done in that position of yours in this noble office? Now this morning, we have given what is more and above in serving this nation for 10 good years. You have dedicated your time. You have dedicated your energy. You have dedicated your intellect. You have dedicated the most important thing to plan how to govern this nation from this office. You have done it for the sake of the Republic of Kenya. For 10 good years, you never went home. For 10 good years, you have been running up and down. For 10 good years, you have been planning and strategizing, even when it is so difficult, like the times of COVID. You have been planning on how our economy to improve. That is your building towards the nation. The head of state who is barred from defending the seat, having served a maximum of two terms, is set to leave office after the general election set to be held in the next two weeks, during which the Kenyan electorate will pick his successor. Beatrice Watare, TV 47. <laughs> This 
despite being visually impaired, he is a jack of all trades. It is our quest to find answers on how to take care of children with special needs and those with disability. You do not need to see musical notes to understand music, but rather to have your soul feel the vibe. Actually, for us to make a wheelchair, we have to take measurements of the user. After doing my assessment, I get to know the parent, I get to know the, the heaviness she's carrying. Disability comes at different stages of life. What's happening around you? Morning Cafe with heated political debates. Baraza la Siasa. Informative health discussions. Business. Farming. Tasty Wednesday. Fitness Thursday. And Feel Good Friday. With amazing DJs, celebs. <laughs> <laughs> and music bands every Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. The next set of millionaires are farmers as we know agriculture has been and still is the backbone of our economy. As we traverse the, the different... That we'll be focusing on is on the importance of just getting the undecided voters to decide above everything taking a look at this debacle that befalls the ibc as to the coming in of the venezuelans the three of them in the country and their involvement on the processes of election in the country as ibc says they are here or better yet abdullah says they are here uh, to train ibc officials on how best to handle a couple of things you know on behalf of smartmatic We'll be getting to that conversation as well as just looking at the reign of President Uhuru Kenyatta and his get as at this very hour as he gets to exit the stage. Most importantly, the preparations of the presidential debate slated for tomorrow at the Catholic University. Welcome on board. The hashtag is Morning Cafe at Linda underscore Lela TV 47 KA. We value your feedback and therefore we'll be sampling some of the things that you have told us as we continue with the broadcast or better yet some of the messages that you will have sent us as we continue with the broadcast in studio i'm expecting to have zach kinuthia who's not here just yet but he says he's on, on his way and therefore we'll be looping him in in a bit but dr duncan ojuang is already here with me dean law african nazarene university it's a pleasure to have him this morning before he says hi also we'll be having dr barak muluka who will be joining us all the way from emmanuelia virtually he's a communication advisor and therefore as we get to this conversation once again your feedback is very, very important. We sample as we continue with the broadcast. I can see Zach has already stepped into the studio, and so in a bit he joins us. But Dr. before Zach comes in, how are you? I'm fine, uh, Ella. Good morning. Good morning. Today uh, good you are an Ali, but I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah. Ali and healthy. I am telling you, it's Having very important. Walked, uh, most of the time to mm. the studio yeah. as a physical exercise. Mm. I'm feeling great. Uh, I hope fellow Kenyans are also finding this Monday okay. Yep. Uh, the two weeks we have been waiting for for four years is almost here, five I years know. actually. Uh, this is the last year we were waiting mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. uh, COVID is there, but it has uh, eased a little bit. Uh, I, I think overall we have reasons to be optimistic, mm -hmm. to be grateful to God. That's true. And uh, to just face this life one day at a time that's true God well blessed. put and i agree to what it is that you say for you know almost five years we've been talking about 2022 <sighs> I have never seen, uh, you know, a period where we have focused on, you know, an electioneering moment like we have in the previous years. It's been 2022, 2022. Last year, it almost felt like it's 2022. Already. Mm. And, and uh, do you notice, or uh, I think, 
it appears people are getting tired, even the politicians. I don't see much activity in my now, neighborhood. Now, that's the irony. Right. I, I guess mean, we, politicked, you know, there was that aspect of politicking. Throughout. Throughout. Too early. Too early. Dancing your self lame before I'm telling the main you, dance. Before we're getting uh, into it, it's yeah. all like, you know, what you know, we're we all are, tired. We have seen it all. We have seen BBI politics. We have seen handshake politics. Mm. We have seen DP conversing the country. Yeah. And so there's, there's really low activity from both sides. Mm -hmm. There is a little bit of lack of morale. I don't see the euphoria. I was mm -hmm. thinking I will see. Uh, but, but here we are. Uh, it is here. Is it going, do you feel like it would spill to the D-Day such that we're going to experience some essence of apathy? Uh, I, 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 I think, I hope uh, both sides will marshal a pool <laughs> whatever has remained mm -hmm. uh, in the last week and uh, build momentum. Uh, but you see, uh, somebody told me that in Kenya you do not need an alarm clock. Shidazako zita kwamusha. On that day, <laughs> I think Kenyan's problems uh -huh. will wake them up early uh -huh. and will set them up to go to the ballot uh -huh. because it's the only opportunity to, to reclaim to to come back into the economy. Uh, so do, do our you, problems will do it. Uh, but, but, but honestly, Dr. Oh. Terry, let's just oh. look at that. Okay, well, Duncan, uh, do you suppose that Kenyans believe that their problems can be solved by, you know, a different crop of leadership, by, you know, the leadership? Because they, for a long time, you know, have gotten to a point where they've lost that mm. belief, you know, in, you know, a possibility of and having what change is that do. is brought by... The, the ballot. Yes, the ballot. Um, so so, so I, I don't know where the statistics put us in terms of uh, optimism as Kenyans. I know they usually do polls on that. But uh, you see, uh, sometime, uh, even at worst case scenario, uh, I know people were saying, we are just going to teach a lesson. Mm. Uh, I might yeah. not be very enthusiastic, but I just want to say that I have had... I have uh, exercised my vote and uh, I am not being arranged. Mm -hmm. I don't know if mm -hmm. does not translate very well. <laughs> but, so, uh, but, but whichever side, whether yeah. it is the Sipangwingwi side mm -hmm. or the other side, there is just a score to, to, to take on this ballot. Mm -hmm. And usually, anger is what give people momentum. Okay. People don't go to poll because they're happy. People go to poll because they are decampaigning, because yes. they are mad at a certain quarter, and that galvanizes. Just take, for example, a standard shopper. A happy shopper usually don't fill those surveys. Mm. But a mad shopper usually tweet, uh, calls, yeah. and, 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 and raise hell, and, and that is what is happening. So we see a lot of negative of whatever the country is going to. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of uh, uh, polarizing uh, things. We are seeing a lot of uh, experimental of what works and what does not work. So I think, and we see a lot of manifestos. So mm -hmm. let us not say that there is no hope. Uh, the Azimio side have a very elaborate manifesto of their vision to this country. Yes, uh, Kenya Kwanzaa side, uh, remember, are actually saying, let us start afresh. Uh, the trickle down has never worked. Mm -hmm. Give us a chance and let us try the bottom up. Let us now change this conversation from reaching out and working for the big boys and big girls, but usually boys, and let us oh. now look for the mamamboga <laughs> and whatever. I, I mean, we are looking at a revolution at the ballot. Okay. And I think this uh, concerted effort put together, uh, people will marshal finally uh, their last energy and hope and uh, exercise the right to vote. Well, Dr. Barak Muluka, thank you so much for joining us this morning. That Kenyans are ripe for a revolution at the ballot, and that is what is perhaps going to guarantee us a possibility of high numbers going out there to vote. The elections and the ballot should, uh, maybe I should say thank you first, uh, mm. Linda, and good morning to Duncan. Uh, but I've sucked into the spirit of the conversation. Yeah. Uh, elections are usually supposed to herald evolutionary change yeah. rather than revolutionary changes. Uh, revolutions tend by their nature to be traumatic, 
they tend sometimes to be even violent, while uh, evolutions are more natural. And, and, and uh, one would uh, usually expect that uh, elections should be uh, leading people through that kind of change. However, where things have uh, deteriorated very steadily over periods of time, sometimes uh, the electorate expresses anger at uh, the ballot, and therefore that kind of uh, ballot can uh, become revolutionary. If you look at the cost of living in the country today, you go to the shops, if you are lucky to have some money on you, and what you bring back home from the shop is uh, traumatizing. Therefore, one expects that Kenyans will reflect very carefully and that uh, they can begin uh, putting in place some change that uh, will uh, affect their lives uh, positively. All right, and they said during the by-elections that uh, a majority of uh, these people uh, went to the ballot, first of all, to just show President Uhuru Kenyatta that we are disappointed in your style of leadership. And today we are staring at the ballot uh, 14 days from now. And the questions are, are Kenyans confident that if they go to the ballot and, you know, cast, because it's going to be a question of vote them in and vote them out. So when they vote those ones that they vote out, do you suppose they have the belief that the ones that they vote in then will bring that change, change that will address the high cost of living, change that will address, you know, the general feel that the taxes really do not give them value and that change that will give us that economic emancipation or perhaps Kenyans will get to a point and say, you know what, after all, why should I wake up and go vote? Yet nothing much can happen. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, my colleague. Morning. Mm -hmm. And morning. Uh, also good morning <coughs> to Dr. Muluka from his uh, Manuria conference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so good to see you, mm -hmm. to, see you to all of you here. Yeah. And uh, suppose I should say I'm sorry for being late. Right, as well. You, you can feel my voice is lost because... Uh, Campaigns. Yeah, I got back to the house at 2 a.m. Wow. And uh, I almost got, uh, I mean, uh, carried off by sleep. But you, it's you good. You signed I'm, up for this, so it's the, That is it. It's, mm -hmm. it's on it. Mm -hmm. Every struggle, life is full of struggle. That's A true. man got to choose which struggle to, I mean, live uh, or die for. Yeah. And I want to pick the point from um, what you have called the apathy. Mm. I mean, is it worth, is my vote worth going to cast? Mm. Mm. That, that question lingers in the minds of many people because in the end, politics is about the interest, individuals, communities, tribes, uh, uh, various interests, like yeah. you could say um, business communities, are interested in. It's all about interest. Don't be lied uh, otherwise, because a voter whose child has been sent out of school yeah. will only vote for a person who can pay their school fees. A woman mm -hmm. whose arm is being amputated can only vote for a man or a woman who can replace with a plastic one, mm. or who can pay for that procedure. Mm. Communities uh, at a higher level beyond, uh, beyond, I mean, individual, is that they will vote for a candidate who promises things that matters to them. Mm. You cannot go to Northeastern province and say, when you are elected, the prices of coffee will improve tremendously. If you are elected, you say in uh, Mount Kenya, mm -hmm. you will ensure that the fish market is totally catered for because you have good connections perhaps with the outer world or the market. People will not listen to you, mm. although you are making sense in a different place. If you say that in Kisum, perhaps, or in Siaya or in uh, the Lake region, yes, you are making sense because majority of the economic uh, activity revolves not specifically on that alone, but mm. a, a, at least on so, some form of e coffee, tea, the same. So to answer your question, I, 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 I had uh, Daktari uh, say that, yes, uh, people vote perhaps guided by fear. That's, that's, right. that's right. Mm. Uh, also, hope becomes mm. a point. Mm. What, is, what is the hope of the young when they vote? Young people do not vote because of fear. Mm. It is the elderly who vote out of fear. Okay. Having been experienced over life to see things, they vote over fear that things could go wrong. Mm. Perhaps they have been. But young people could uh, perhaps have not grown in an environment where things have been bad. They are only looking forward to a budding future. Who is this candidate who comes to them? And that's why they are carried by euphoria. That's why, you know, in the presidential level, 
a candidate who is promis uh, promising outrageous things, most likely is going to carry the votes. Mm -hmm. Those, who, uh, I mean, a candidate who who is promising the demolition of the of the order. And let me put it this way: <laughs> a candidate who promises chaos yeah. will, will most likely attract young people, but uh -huh. they will not attract the older and uh, the elderly. And just how is that a question of hope, Zach? No, for the young people, they are they are hopeful for another future than what they know. Okay. They want to unshackle themselves from the authority. Their father, their mother, their cousins, you know, their communities, the police. That's why he's saying, I mean, if bank can be legalized, young people can be happy. Not because they, they, they smoke. Mm -hmm. No. But because they have grown in an environment where bank is illegal. I, and has been your, your first time to vote, law. Zach, before yeah. we take a short break. Your very first time to vote. Yes. Can you remember? Yeah, 2007, yes. It, it, did it have anything to do with your own decision or some time, you know, perhaps you were... Uh, coerced to take a certain di direction by the elders around you? Yeah, it's true. The, the conditioning around mm -hmm. also played, because I voted for Kibaki. Yeah. It, it was the thing to do in Mount Kenya. Mm. Where I was voting, I was voting for Kibaki. But beyond that, yes, I am telling you I was voting for a future okay. different from the present I was living. That type, because, right. I mean, I just came from high school. I was looking to a future that can, you know, bring some reverberating revolution, as he called, that in the ballot, perhaps there can be a revolution. But, but what revolution? It's personal revolution. You want to rise above it. But I would want to tell the people to give the vote some value. They, they, should, not, they should not stay away from voting. Well, people course. should not be apathetic on voting because leadership is transforming into, next, into, into the following five years, five years that cannot be guaranteed by anything or anybody. This country will be governed. And the people who govern this country have tried to show us a form of what they are going to do, I mean, for the country. But they also don't know. Mm -hmm. Raila Odinga does not know whether what he's saying will be done. William Ruto, the same, does not know whether. But somehow, because we must build a future we are going to live in tomorrow, yeah. they are coming in. I would ask people to vote, even as we discuss this here, this morning. I think our major message, you may not agree on, on all the parameters, all of us, but one thing we must agree and push is yeah. that Kenyans must come and vote their president, must come and vote their governor all the way up to the Names civic the leader who will go to represent them in the county. And I agree. We are here to, not to campaign as such, but yeah. uh, you know, to remind us that 14 days to the general election, it is important that you go out there and cast that vote. So we take a short break and we come back expound further on that. Despite being visually impaired, he is a jack of all trades. It is our quest to find answers on how to take care of children with special needs and those with disability. You do not need to see musical notes to understand music, but rather to have your soul feel the vibe. Actually, for us to make a wheelchair, we have to take measurements of the user. After doing my assessment, I get to know the parent, I get to know the, the heaviness she's carrying. Disability comes at different stages of life. What's happening around you? Morning Cafe with heated political debates. Baraza La Siasa. Presidential debate. Despite being visually impaired, he is a jack of all trades. It is our quest to find answers on how to take care of children with special needs and those with disability. You do not need to see musical notes to understand music, but rather to have your soul feel the vibe. Actually, for us to make a wheelchair, we have to take measurements of the user. After doing my assessment, I get to know the parent, I get to know the, the heaviness she's carrying. Disability comes at different stages of life. How well do 
you know what's happening around you. Morning Cafe with heated political debates. After but, his suit, yes. uh, the family is there after you are done. They're like, I'm going to come to the house and I'm going to get a child. And I'm going to get a suit. It's unpredictable. I agree. Barak, are you there? Yes, I'm here and I can hear you now. <laughs> oh, you should have heard yeah. what the Tari was telling us during the break. I think I'll share that some other time. Hey. But yes, okay. we, mm -hmm. we're well, back to the conversation. And I think we also say that at least everybody in the country who understands the importance of voting is uh, perhaps out there, you know, campaigning. Campaigning, that is fine. What Zach says, it doesn't matter where you align. It doesn't matter what side you are at uh, what's important is that kenyans understand the importance of going out there to vote but yes once again some of these processes that appeared shambled you know from the onset dr ojuang are the reasons why most of the kenyans would not have the confidence to go out there and vote if you listen to this uh, story that has been making headlines for the better part of the weekend from friday after you know these venezuela's uh, guys were you know came into the country and you know at some point in time they are set aside and questions arise as to you know they're coming into the country and you know what it is that they bring and up until today we still do not have a clear picture mm. of what is happening and remember we're dealing with the ibc and we're dealing with kinote himself you know these yeah. are at the heart of giving us you know intelligence as a country, yet we still do not have answers to this. Yeah. Why would Kenyans really wake up to go out there and vote in as much as that's what we're telling them to? Uh, you, you, you see this, this story and the, the, the what? The, 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 the drama uh, coming to Monday today mm. is actually stirring the excitement pot. Uh, every side is now saying I will cast that vote to a shame, whoever. Mm. And, and so I think this is not the campaigning, quite the opposite. You, human being in some way thrive in chaos. Yeah. And, and if you are a, a supporter who was getting relaxed, uh, thinking you have bagged it, or thinking that uh, it doesn't matter, it, it raises something in you to say to Tawaonyesha. Mm -hmm. And so I think that the drama around this is not necessarily uh, going to discourage anybody, quite the opposite. But coming to the, 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 the whole issue, uh, I, I don't want a, a, a situation where uh, Kinoti has said this, Chebukati have said this. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Chebuka Kinoti is not Chebukati's equal when it comes to election. Election is in the hands of IBC commission, independent commission. So it cannot be, at least now I have a dilemma or trilemma between what Kinoti have said and what Chebukati have said. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that is not understanding the constitutional mandate. The, the, there is who, who has the last word yeah. on issues to do with elections, elections. and it is not Kinoti. Okay. Number two, uh, when uh, I saw the statement even by the CS communication, who said that frame us with sensitive elective material, mm -hmm. of course there were stickers I hear, uh, I wonder whether even if you provide a ball pen or uh, whatever, it's a sensitive material. Mm -hmm. But secondly, uh, we know very well that uh, the election role uh, of both the ballot printing and the technology by foreigners. Mm. So the aspect of being shocked that a foreigner has something to do with the election is, is also shocking that you are shocked, knowing very well that as, as Smartmatic and the other company from Greece are the ones printing. Finally, uh, at the point whether you, had, you were not sure what was happening, uh, but IBC came and confirmed and said, yes, we know them then the investigation or pseudo-investigation should have stopped right there. Mm -hmm. Instead, what does Chebukati say? It continued. It continued to, to detention. It continued to coercion, give us the password and whatever. Mm -hmm. And you can see that uh, at, at the end of the day, uh, somebody is trying to discourage this mathematic so that they don't deliver digital, so that the election is held manually. Uh, but overall, I think that uh, uh, this drama, uh, this is now not the, the, the legal, but the political cast, uh, I am casting on this. Somebody is trying to say we had promised to deliver 
uh, as deep state uh, we had promised to deliver. They have realized they have failed, they cannot deliver. Is it? Okay. And therefore, I'm going to kick some drama for you. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can do some drama for you. Uh, remember, Handshake was to deliver Mount Kenya. Whether that will work or not, but it looks like that might not have worked as well. Now, I will deliver election as come to, uh, if I cannot, I will masquerade, jump some nini, uh, carry, you remember the raid yesterday? Yeah. You saw how old and a cake those computer is. Who can rig with those PCU that you saw there with the cables hanging mm -hmm. the way they were carried? Mm -hmm. So it is really, uh, as we sing in the SDA church, prone to wonder, Lord, I feel it. <laughs> it's a way that you just want to say, Nita kufanya kadrama apa, even though I cannot help. The real help is with IBC. If uh, Azimio or any other side have an issue, and even in Kenya Kwanzaa mm -hmm. side have issues, you raise it not with Kinoti, but with Chebukati, knowing that he has a constitutional mandate together with the commissioners to midwife the election. What happens when it's uh, Kinoti that raises the alarm and as well has the constitutional right uh, to question some of these things, and especially when it comes to the question of, you know, just getting to understand how safe the country is, how safe the processes are, you know, the question of intelligence, we all understand his role that is within the Constitution. And so, Barack, I'll ask these questions that I do not understand how valid are, or we still do not have Barack. Maybe I'll send these questions to you. Uh, pertinent questions that have been asked by many. And uh, perhaps uh, from that very note, then we get to react. Why were the Venezuelans carrying IBC material as personal effects? Why was their host in the country Abdullahi Abdi Mohammed and not the IBC? Why did the host Abdullahi Abdi Mohammed say that he was not aware that his guests were carrying IBC materials at some point? These materials, including the laptop that IBC claimed was their property and was holding critical, were not insured and had no security or security was not provided. What would have happened if they got lost? And why were election materials being taken to someone's apartment and not to the IBC's safe custody? And uh, Smartmatic is headquartered in London. These people traveled from Venezuela and never made a stop in London. Where did they get the material from? Some of these questions that are being asked by Kenyans. How come it's Abdullahi who made the invitation and paid for their air ticket and not the IABC? From documentation provider, the guys came into the country as country as employees of Abdullahi. They don't have a contract with IBC or Smartmatic. Why then did Chebukati claim that they were the commission's IT personnel? How come the sticker ruled which the Venezuelans were having or were carrying mainly belonged to one region? Well, of course, they say Mount Kenya region. I just do not know how valid these questions are, but Kenyans are asking. That's a, the, the, that's a, that's a, a very sad reality mm. of our election because this particular matter, just 14 days to the polls, um, stands uh, stands indict, indicting, mm. it stands yeah. to indict the whole process, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, the government that is a behemoth has a responsibility of securing an election. This whole saga, I mean, before one can make sense out of it, mm. takes me to the question of, had these uh, three Venezuelans been arrested for, calling, uh, for having been carrying a bomb? Yeah. Hmm? What would be Kenyans saying about the government? If it was a bomb, if it was an explosive, mm -hmm, like explosive materials and uh, documents. Oh, that would be so hard on the government. Ke ke no, Kenyans would be happy. If they had been oh, netted, had netted mm -hmm. before, carrying before, explosives, yes, the, the yes, yes, Kenyans yes. would be grateful. Yes, yeah. Just as we have, been, we have seen people being netted from mm -hmm. many quarters, trying to disrupt the peace. Yeah. Now that these Venezuelans who allegedly traveled with, uh, I mean, tr the what are they called? Passports that are expired, eh? yeah. and, and such matters, tells us that this matter cannot be ignored because of politics. Okay. It is important because these are not Kenyans that uh, could claim are being harassed. Even a Kenyan who was being harassed some time back did not win by the law. Mm -hmm. He may have won by culture and socioeconomic uh, explanations, but culturally, uh, rather legally, mm -hmm. he could not be a Kenyan. Here, in this matter, the Venezuelans, as you said, did not travel through the office they are representing. Mm. 
they traveled through a small canal somewhere in uh, in in, in uh, uh, through uh, from Venezuela to 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 Kenya mm -hmm. and the questions of who is paying their 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 air tickets the questions of why these materials are not declared these are questions that cannot be ignored which they did not answer yep. themselves and you see even money which is your money you must declare a certain amount of it yes as you come, as into, you the come country, into the country or as true. you leave the country there is amount that you declare well some of us may not have had that amount of money in life to mm. to, to declare to customs but it is a, a standard procedure in the world aviation mm. these questions of a security affair because as you have said security rather uh, i election is a security affair it's a security affair. Mm -hmm. Nobody can ignore the fact that we are dealing with a transition of one government to another, facilitated by a non-governmental organization called IABC, which is independent, but which works with investigation department, yeah. works with immigration department, works with the police department, works with the state, and most importantly, is trying to manage all these things as a center. Mm -hmm. The question of the chairman of IABC discussing this matter in the public if they have not discussed it in the private is very sad mm. because him the back of this election stops with the chairman of IBC yeah. who will be the presidential returning okay. officer if there are things that he would want handled there should be communication with all this department even in the media mm -hmm. and, and you have heard him say you people are welcome to the election uh, designated stations but that was word of mouth. Yeah. No communication has come in writing with guidelines and procedures of how this will be done. I would want to pray, because I'm also a candidate, I would want to pray that there is a country. There, there is a country in 14 days. There is a country, most importantly, after the 15th mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. After 9th, we shall be here. Daktari will be doing his job mm -hmm. uh, of uh, I mean, uh, guiding young people into the future. We will be here. You will be here. Mm -hmm. Kenya will remain as a star country it has been in this region of turbulence and sure. I would want to ask if this depends on Kinoti if this depends on uh, Chebukati if this depends on uh, the cabinet secretary for in, uh, uh, communication ICT if this depends on the media you and I and uh, the others I pray that this country prevail Saitoti allegedly uh, rather uh, uh, has been quoted famously for having said that there comes a time in the country when the country is much much more important than the individual mm -hmm. the individual here who is venezuelan and who are the center of these things must not be questioned with politics they must be questioned with logic the well, people who are bringing politics in this matter mm -hmm. and you see the truth of the matter is that i don't know yeah. what cannot is saying i am not privy to it what Chabukati is saying i'm not privy because i don't work with this organization if cannot and that's why the gazette is asking who is speaking the truth, the truth because mm -hmm. this is a question we're asking. Mm -hmm. If Kenoti is speaking the truth, then we must live with that truth. Okay. If uh, Chebukati is speaking the truth, we must li live with this truth. But above these two truths, or rather more, more than two truths, somebody is not telling us the right information. Mm -hmm. And this misleading of the public is akin to what happened in 2007 November. Mm. 2007 November, there were information being aired in uh, mainstream TVs. That time there were not many. There were information that were being printed in such papers, indicting Samuel Kevoito Commission. Yeah. And Samuel Kevoito rubbished it off because he thought that elections he had conducted before would be the same. Mm -hmm. But this was a year that was bulging with anxiety. This was a year that was no like, like uh, was like no other year. Just like now, we are going to an election that is no is, is an election like no other. Regime is changing. We are getting a new president. The incumbent is not vying. We have anxiety all over the country of changing leadership, not of violence or war. Let there be no ignition uh, okay. uh, whatsoever. By any, uh, he said something when I was coming in mm -hmm. that Perfect. there seems to be laxity in politics. There, there seems to be no excitement that we. It is because Kenyans are tired. Yeah. Mm. They do not want more drama. Kenyans do not want more time. They don't actually. They say they don't want a day more. Politicking. They don't mean. Know a, a day more without a new president, without a new governor, new MP, and new MCA. I pray yeah. that this smartmatic, this IBC uh, matter, mm -hmm. be looked at logically. Those people who are fighting government simply because government is unearthing this. And, and, and this we did not know before mm -hmm. must know that the government 
has an extra strength to know more. Even myself. Let's allow Barak come in on that very sure, note. Hold sure. it, hold it. Uh, and Dr. Barak, uh, yeah, I have yeah. asked these uh, questions that I would have perhaps wished to ask to you, and I hope that you had some of them, if not so. I can always repeat uh, for your benefit. But all the same, pertinent questions being asked as pertaining to the coming in of the Venezuelans into the country and lots of discrepancies and the IBC coming out to defend them or defend their coming into the country. But then again, still not so clear as to the questions or the concerns that are being raised by the DCI. What would you make of this? Uh, and I mean, as much as we say that we'd want to look at it, you know, without focusing much on politics, this is politics that is at play and therefore the political lenses have to be on. Just how do we get to create a balance and get answers to this? Thank you. I'm hearing a lot of uh, preaching and a lot of uh, moralizing by Zach uh, Kinudia. I think I had enough of preaching yesterday uh -huh. uh, which was Sunday in the church and I think we need to face the issues before us squarely. First, these issues are political. We are talking about putting in place a political government to replace a political government or to continue a political government. We are talking about politicians out there who are attempting to protect political space. And we are talking about uh, a citizenry that uh, must make political decisions. Mm -hmm. In fact, we are even talking about uh, media houses that are themselves political and some of which have already taken political stance. And we are talking about a security system which is political because we have been told that uh, there was a deep state that was going to deliver a certain kind of electoral outcome, that uh, there was a system. We are talking about uh, a political public service with political public servants who have made it very clear that they have taken political positions guided by a political president. So let us stop this moralizing, this uh, preachy kind of stuff and agree that we are dealing with a, a political situation in a political context that is supposed to deliver a political result, a political outcome. And that uh, we have not uh, been told exactly how many of uh, whatever things they were carrying, these Venezuelans have brought into the country. We are aware, aren't we, that uh, these elections are going to involve uh, technology that has been externally sourced, that uh, they are going to be foreigners in the process. And none other than the chairperson of uh, IEBC was the first person to come out and to tell Kenyans that they were foreigners in the country who were here on the invite of the IEBC. And uh, Chebukati was the first person to tell Kenyans that these people were carrying election-related materials of a sensitive nature. So I don't know why we start moralizing, being preachy, and saying these people are carrying sensitive things about elections, how have they come across them. I think this is a, a lot of uh, balderdash. Let us just accept that uh, what we are seeing about the Venezuelans may not be looked at in isolation. It must be seen in the context of what we have been hearing all along about the deep state and Kinoti belongs to the deep state. I hope uh, he is uh, watching and uh, hearing me loud and clear that mm -hmm. I can look in the camera and tell him, Mr. DCI, you belong to the deep state. That uh, Dr. Karanja Kibicho, Dr. Fred Matiangi, they belong to the deep state which promised to bring a certain kind of uh, election result, and that um, we must understand these dynamics in that context. We must understand these things in the context of uh, media moguls and tycoons who have said that uh, they are supporting a certain candidate. We must understand these things in the context of uh, opinion polls, both the ones that are, are being shown to us and the ones that are not being shown to us. What is the NSIS showing the people uh, in government? And uh, how is what NSIS showing those people related to what we are seeing? How are all these things playing out in the context of uh, the presidential debate, which we are hearing that some people are now saying they will not attend? And we'll come to that, Dr. Barak. We'll come to that. Yeah, but, but I also want to ask this question again. Thinking. 
you've got to allow my thinking to flow in an organized uh, manner the way I organize my thoughts. However, let me defer to you. All right, you see, Barack, we're going to get to that. But anyway, I think I'll ask these questions again. Uh, and I said, I don't know how valid they are, but uh, just, uh, you know, in reaction to what has played out, uh, two or three of them, why were the Venezuelans carrying IBC materials as personal effects? I don't know whether you heard me asking this. Why was there... No, I, didn't. I was off air. Sorry, you were, you were off air. Okay, well... I was yeah. off air. All so right. Let get that. Let me read them again, yeah? So why are the Venezuelans carrying IBC material as personal effects? Why was their host in the country, Abdullahi, Abdi, Mohammed, and not the IEBC? Why did the host of Abdullahi, Abdi, Mohammed say that he was not aware that his guests were carrying IEBC materials? These materials, including the laptop that IEBC claimed was their property and was holding critical information, were not insured, was there uh, and has no security, was or no security details were provided as to the same. What would have up happened if they got lost? Uh, why were election materials being taken to someone's apartment and not into IBC's safe custody? Smartmatic is uh, headquartered in London. These people traveled from Venezuela and never made a stop in London. Where did they get the material from? How come it's Abdullahi who made the invitation and paid for their air tickets and not the IEBC? From documentation provider, the guys came into the country as employees of Abdullahi. They don't have a contract with IBC or Smartmatic. Then why? Why then did Chibukati claim that they were a commission's IT personnel? And lastly, how come the sticker rolled with the Venezuelans who are carrying mainly belonged or were carrying mainly belonged to one region and that is of course the mount kenya region we might need to overlook that but generally the questions that i have asked there or are being asked by kenyans right there are they not valid enough to perhaps put a question mark on this whole coming in of the venezuelans into the country and the involvement of government first uh, i usually have a, a problem dealing with uh, double barreled questions and this is not even double barreled. This is multiple. It is multiple, it is multiple barreled. And uh, I don't know which barrel we are dealing we, with. We really are not supposed to but look at these questions one by one, Dr. Barak. It's just to, you know, contextualize and understand where the likes of Kinoti then would be coming in. And this in relation to what you mentioned, that we all understand the involvement of the deep state and all this conversation. But then, don't you think these questions could be valid enough? If the hostess will be kind enough to me, Proceed, she will allow my thoughts to flow without uh, disrupting me before Proceed. I have even gone beyond the exodium. Uh, I, I'm a, a logical thinker and an organized thinker. And uh, I know that uh, and, uh, Dr. Yuan knows that, that uh, in organized I thinking, know. this the exodium, no, where you provide the setting and then you continue to elocute. Can I allow so you to, to, to have your thoughts, uh, you know, process in order? We take a short break and then we come back on that very note. No, yes, see. thank you. Despite being visually impaired, he is a jack of all trades. It is our quest to find answers on how to take care of children with special needs and those with disability. You do not need to see musical notes to understand music, but rather to have your soul feel the vibe. Actually, for us to make a wheelchair, we have to take measurements of the user. After doing my assessment, I get to know the parent, I get to know the, the heaviness she's carrying. Disability comes at different stages of life. How well do you know what's happening around you? Morning Cafe with heated political debates. Baraza la siyasa. Informative health discussions. Business. Farming. 
Tasty Wednesday, Fitness Thursday, and Feel Good Friday with amazing DJs, celebs. <laughs> and music bands every Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. The next set of millionaires are farmers as we know agriculture has been and still is the backbone of our economy. As we traverse the different counties to meet different farmers, we ensure to get the story of how they started farming and even how they continue to penetrate the market and overcome the challenges. Hapa, the reason why in the acre goose in the sea ducks, mm -hmm. goose, they are very easy to maintain. A lot of farmers keep on calling, inquiring, uh, whether you're supposed to raise uh, some seeds yeah. uh, in the nursery or yeah. you're supposed to do them directly in the field. The greenhouse helps us control the temperature because the temperature needs to be between 28 to 32 degrees. Walk this journey with us every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. It's no secret, construction ain't cheap. But how do we make it affordable? Different individuals are finding ways of cutting down cost by use of pre-stressed slabs other than reinforced concrete, recycling plastics to make pavers. The brick is stronger, it's cheaper and it's lighter. And recycling wastewater in your household. What happens to my waste from the from the washroom, uh -huh. the solid waste? All that can break down. Those are just but a few. Every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m., we talk construction. I, in the past, have been a publishing editor, and I'm aware that uh, I have supplied uh, published uh, materials under the World Bank, uh, for example, to different parts of the continent, different parts of the world. And part of the process is that uh, I sometimes uh, have had to carry samples of uh, some of these materials in my personal gear as I go to the various uh, destinations. I do not know exactly what these people were carrying and um, the quantity of what uh, they were carrying. Nobody is telling us what it was. We are aware, however, that materials can be carried in software nowadays and that uh, I could carry that kind of material on my personal laptop and if i'm carrying materials on my personal laptop there is a, a sense in which the hardware belongs to me but the software belongs to somebody else and i do not know whether uh, dci uh, Kinoti is uh, adequately schooled in uh, ict and the capacity to make uh, these uh, distinctions i'm not aware that uh, Kinoti has been trained to audit the IEBC and IBC's activities. And I guide myself all the time by remembering that there has been this uh, bragging about uh, the so-called deep state in this uh, electoral process, and that we are getting into the dying minutes of uh, the process. And therefore, I must listen to all these things with uh, an extra ear and I'm allowed uh, some level of uh, incredulity and doubt and to mistrust a uh, police uh, uh, entity that has never been particularly known for telling the truth. That I'm dealing with a, a DCI that has taken so many cases to court and those cases have never gotten anywhere because they have been political uh, cases that have been scurrilously investigated and so I would um, ask Barack uh, look at these things with their journalist eyes until such a time as concrete material is brought before me I think that is a, a fair way of uh, responding to uh, a rather complex um, uh, uh, question
Well, the speed mastering uh, of politics, we all understand, Dr. Uh, Duncan Ojuang, and uh, we would agree when you know questions arise as to the involvement of the deep state, if at all there is any, or the involvement of government. Um, we have seen Deputy President William Ruto, who as well as part of government, uh, coming out to say, tell President Uhuru Kenyatta to separate his roles as head of state and patron of Azimio. He says arrest, the arrest of Venezuelan was choreographed by the government operatives and so much more. How do we get to have a clear separation of the same? Because this then is something that would cost us. This then is one of the key things that would be used as fodder, you know, when we see litigations coming on board and all that. Yeah, that's a good question. I also w just want to echo what uh, uh, Dr. Barak have noted. Uh, some of those so-called questions from Kenyans are not innocent. Mm. Uh, but I could add uh, onto the list, why did they sleep through the plane? <laughs> why did they use, uh, why did they come without socks? Mm. Why did they have <laughs> handkerchief which are yellow? I mean, <laughs> we, the, 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 since we are shooting from the hip. Uh, this is the same Kinoti who the other time had uh, uh, tra started prosecuting people mm -hmm. and court and had yet to come out clear and tell him your role is to look yeah. and uh, and investigate. Uh, to charge is the function of director of public prosecution. Mm -hmm. He's an interfacious intermeddler by excellence. Mm -hmm. He meddled with uh, Haji. Remember, they, they, they actually spoke back and forth. Uh, where later Saji told him, you know, I, I don't answer to you. Yeah. You, you are a very small person according to the Constitution. So, 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 so you can see that after uh, bothering Hajj, where he, was, he also had his charge sheets, because things were not moving as quickly mm -hmm. as he wanted to turn them. Uh, the, 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 the Friday arrest, or whatever it was called, Kamata Friday and whatever, uh, is is being a cop uh, right now he has he is now messing with uh, the IBC and then Chibukati is just the the chair now when you travel with a laptop I don't know in the form declaration form uh, and I've traveled a lot where you declare that I have IBC laptop mm -hmm. or I have a sensitive laptop uh, Kinoti will need to help me understand, understand that. where you declare mm -hmm. in your declaration form that, hey, by the way, I have a very sensitive laptop. Mm -hmm. uh, questions like, why didn't they pass through the uh, London and say hi to the Queen? Because uh, <laughs> after all, why from Venezuela? Well, why this route and not the other route? Uh, well, th remember, these are uh, as contractors and contracted mm -hmm. and uh, right now as i was coming in i found that this uh building have contracted independent security people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh these people are working for you and so if they beat me by the gate uh, it will not be for uh, tv 47 they will say oh, you want pursue with the independent contractor uh, these are independent contractor you know as matics mathematics is an independent contractor. And that independent contractor uh, is working for IBC, but they are independent contractors. So the issue that uh, why was he invited by so and so, and then that mathematic company has now come clear that it has a, a Kenya company that they, have, uh, that they are working with uh, to do some things. So, so when I went and I just finished a training with IGAD and I was called as a, as a consultant, uh, but I, I was a consultant of consultant or consulting company. They're the only one who knew me. And when people were being given even allowance by IGAD, I'm told you, you are uh, look for, you have been subcontracted by the consultant. Mm -hmm. These people, according to Katie clearly, and uh, this issue does not need to be controversial, they are uh, trainers of Smartmatic International. They came uh, responsibly to train about support solutions. So they have been called to aid in a specific area. 
to the smartmatic. And therefore, uh, they, they are coming because to them they are subcontracted by smartmatic. Not, not, to, not, not to prophesy doom. Um, Dan Kanojuan, but in the event that this case is, which in most cases historically proven, we have seen what happens after the election, then in most cases you will find us landing into courts with lots of petitions and all that. You will agree with me that however much, you know, the details could not be, you know, uh, that big, they will not miss in the processes of litigation, they will not miss in the court processes, and therefore, uh, maybe to throw it to no, Zach. Just a sec before, mm -hmm. maybe just a sec. Uh, of course, anything is little, uh, is, is, uh, liti uh, we are litigants, uh, Kenya likes cases that might come in, but, but now you see why these people did not inform, there is no role to inform. Chebukati is part of government when it comes to uh, election. Mm. But uh, that you can now see why they did not inform Kinoti that we are coming. Mm -hmm. Because that briefcase as they were sleeping will have mm -hmm. been gone. You can now That's see it. the exact <laughs> reason why they sneaked in, even if to use the word sneaked in. Because you can see the interest and the prying eyes and the interficious intermeddling, which I had. So that you can see why they tiptoed to the country. So that was but a security tactic. The, issue, tact, the think. issue is that they, 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 they have uh, the knowledge in their mind. You can ask them for the password, but they have the knowledge in their mind. Let Kinoti not pull drama for Azimio after lying to them that there is something called system. Mm -hmm. I am mad. You are taking my kids for granted. Relax. Let them deal with Chebukati if they have an issue. Don't pull drama after you have failed to hand them Mount Kenya. Zach, can we just wait for the truth? Yeah, we should. We should wait I for the truth. Should, because yes. at this mm. rate, eh, mm. uh, every side then, like Dr. started by mm. saying, every side then will pull and push on the you know, preferred uh, mm. direction just mm. so they would vindicate uh, whichever side that yes, they yes, align yes. to. And therefore, such is expected. But then again, the involvement of the likes of Ruto. This is bound mm. to happen. And is it, is it, is it really a wise move? To make it political, move? yeah. To make it political? Mm. In mm. as much as Barack agrees that this whole matter is political? It is wrong. Mm. Uh, that, that's what I'm saying, eh? It is wrong because perhaps those who are overly defending the so-called Venezuelans coming to train on the special project or things eh, may end up as a greatest casualty if it turns out it was true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Th that's only my fear. Okay. If it turns out that Venezuelans are here mm -hmm. for nefarious causes, those who are defending them forthright may end up as a casualty. Mm -hmm. And we have seen it happen in three elections. Yeah. Those who stand to defend things they do not know. Mm. And due to it, uh, it's not even a week or two that there was this conversation as mm. to the involvement of the IABC and the Kenya Kwanzaa team, yes. uh, which they disputed at some point in time. Will this then come in to project the same? It is. And I'm telling you, this is just one uh, ember of what we cannot see. This mm. is an octopus. We only can see one... Uh, <laughs> what, what is it called? <laughs> one one hook. Yeah, yeah, that, that thing. We, can't, mm. we only can see one. Mm. Until we see the rest, let us, let, us, let us be objective. And this is my advice to uh, Kenya Kwanzaa presidential candidate and his uh, lieutenant. Eh? It, is, it is an election where all of us depends on. Mm. Even them depends on the same IBC. And they would want a good IBC. Mm. This follow-up of uh, this thing going all the way to a certain house in the uh, CBD in Nairobi. The government does not act mm. on whims. Mm -hmm. It is important to say so as a government officer formally, governments do not act on whims. Individuals within government may, but the oath of office for people entering high offices in government, including uh, Chebukati, mm -hmm. is that you cannot act on whims, and there is a principle in governance called collective responsibility. Okay. Because you are the chairman, you may not know everything. Mm. Yeah, let, let the person in charge of that particular issue you are talking about talk, advise you before you can speak. Because the person in charge of technology in uh, IEBC, going all the way to the officer in charge of computers, going all the way to the one who is charged with the supplying of flash disk. Mm. These people are so important in the technology uh, uh, affair. But if the chairman just speak without consulting, he may be wrong. This is the same with government. Kenoti could not just have sent himself. Mm. Actually, he was in Rwanda. Uh, I think it just came in the other day. He was in Rwanda when these things were happening. So you're confirming the he was sent by somebody? No, he's no he was doing, that he, he, was doing, he was there publicly. It's valid that he, 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 he yeah. looks into this. Yeah, he was actually, he actually, actually, oh. 
Saying DCI mm. does not mean Kenoti. It is politicians who have coined Kenoti. Mm. The, the, the communications coming from DCI must be signed in his name as a director. Mm. But the people doing the real investigation is not Kenoti. Kenoti mm. did not go to the airport. Kenoti did not go to that house. Did not go to uh, immigration. Just verifying using the office. I think, and, I, and, and I, this, this, is my, this is my advice. It's not preaching. It is my advice. Let the ground be level. Okay. Because those who are defending the bumps and the valleys of the journey may end up scaling the mountains or being buried in the valleys. Okay, well, we wait to see. Dr. Barak, uh, it's more or less like last laps for you know those ones that seek to garner the votes across the country. Uh, whichever level of you know governance we're talking about, from the members of county assembly all the way up to the presidential bid. And as many have argued, it appears to be a two-horse race. Right on Raila Odinga, Deputy President William Ruto. On this very last hours, what much can they gain out of the campaigns that they conduct? And how critical are the undecided voters? I think, uh, uh, number one, the people who have uh, decided uh, that they are voting one way or the other at uh, this moment are unlikely to be persuaded to vote differently. It may not matter very much what you tell them. If they have decided they are voting for Mr. Odinga, they will vote for him. If they have decided they are going to vote for Dr. Ruto, they will vote for him. What is critical for that kind of uh, voter normally experienced as such uh, at this moment is to make sure that uh, they will turn out to vote, that they will prioritize that uh, voting come the polling day, the first thing that uh, you want them to come out and do before they turn to other chores is to go out and vote. Otherwise, they may end up uh, being held up in uh, other activities and uh, fail to vote, although they intended to vote for you. Mm. I have uh, opined uh, elsewhere that I'm uh, spending too much time in uh, hardcore areas at this moment may not uh, help very much. I think that's why you are seeing yesterday Dr. Ruto was somewhere in the South Rift and you could see the throngs out there to welcome him. He needs to do more of that. Raila Odinga needs to do more of that in his strongholds uh, because uh, uh, spending too much time in hardcore areas will not uh, help uh, very much. But there is a, a constituency that can still be spoken to. I believe the undecided uh, voter. The undecided uh, voter is a very difficult kind of um, uh, animal to deal with. This is uh, someone who tends to be uh, rational, someone who wants to uh, be probing, inform things with a lot of probity, to be asking, why should I vote? Why should I vote for Ojuang? Why should I vote for Zach Kinudia? And Zach Kinudia, um, if you are hearing me loud and clear, when you go back to Kigumo, yes. uh, get back to the strongholds and mobilize those people. But find uh, also space for the undecided uh, voters who are rational voters. They want to listen to you to know that you are the right person. And when I, I have heard in the case of the presidency mm -hmm. that uh, Raila Odinga uh, intends not to uh, honor the presidential debate tomorrow, I think he has been misadvised by his team. The discerning voter wants to listen to him, wants to hear certain questions being answered by both uh, Dr. William Ruto and Mr. Raila Odinga. They particularly want to focus on these issues of corruption and hear what both sides have got to say because there are issues that remain unresolved uh, regarding uh, 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 integrity mm -hmm. on both sides of this political divide. And therefore, sometimes when you run away and you say, we do not want to edify this individual, and yet you have already had your deputy president debating those individuals on the same matters, the discerning voter is likely to be thinking that you have something to hide, that it appears to you suddenly that you are not equal to the task of that uh, debate, and therefore you won't run away. In the process, you are doing yourself more harm than good. 
And so the undecided voter must be appealed to at this moment. That is the voter who is likely to stay away because uh, he or she is not seeing anybody to vote for any good cause to vote to discover rational uh, platforms such as um, the ones that are being offered by the presidential uh, debate uh, forum for you to appeal to those voters, particularly where they are saying that um, this could be a very tight two-horse race, Linda, mm -hmm. as you observe, and that um, it may just take uh, a few thousands or tens of thousands or, or hundreds of thousands of votes uh, to win or lose the election. Okay. Well, Zach, on the very same question of the undecided voters and perhaps the converted ones, uh, do you suppose, you know, during this campaign season and even the debate that we speak of today, uh, it will be instrumental to get others converted to a different side or it's all decided, it's all done, it's all cast in tone, especially when we look at the size of the Hustler Nation. And many have argued that the coming in of Wajakoya has, you know, somehow disenfranchised, you know, the strength of the Hustler Nation especially to the people who are considered to be hustlers uh, because they appear to identify some more on what it is that Wajakoya sells. Uh, do you see a scenario where we have those ones that are converted and just how crucial are those ones that are undecided today? The undecided voter, uh, which carries the majority, uh, in every election's home stretch, are really not undecided. They are unconvinced. And it is important to put it that way because why they are not decided on uh, Linda, why they are not decided on uh, Dr. Ojoang, is not based on the fact that they don't know them. Mm -hmm. No. They know them. Mm. They have not decided because they are not convinced. Now, the question of convincing, and I take uh, in kindness uh, Dr. Muluka's advice about reaching out to the strongholds mm. to solidify, yeah. yes, and also to the undecided to win. The undecided, the undecided voter uh, is what Americans call the swing voter, mm. the swing vote state. That here, it can go either red or blue. In this case, in Kenya, it will be either yellow or blue. Mm. So those who are not yet decided on whether to jump on the yellow flower or to the, you know, the blue sky have to decide by conviction. Now, how do you convince them? Maybe, as uh, Dr. Tari said, one of the ways would be through you know, debate, aggressive uh, energy driven campaign and this is what we are doing now i started on saturday going to every village with with with, with a form of a might mm -hmm. i mean with uh, a new way that that could be go with artists go with the uh, dancers go with just create something let the undecided voter come once they are there now speak to them mm -hmm. this tv uh, debates uh, and and i would perhaps support the reasons raida's team is giving mm -hmm. the, the reasons are valid the, the, the skipping may not be valid, yes, but the reasons he gave are convincing. Uh, and, and, and the decided voter, the undecided, unconvinced voter, perhaps would have taken that chance to speak. But remember, as you seek the undecided voter, there are two outcomes. That they could be won on your side, mm -hmm. or they could be won against you. In favor of... Yeah, in yeah. favor of your opponent okay. by aggressively going for them. Sometimes, if there is no time and there is no energy and there is no conviction from inside to reach to them, sometimes you watch mm. and you let them decide. You, you, you let them decide because they will vote. It's not that in the ballot they will leave it uh, and vote. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. They will come and vote, perhaps in the last rush of one thing they remember wrong to deny you or one thing they remember right to say. Or, somebody has said, please, Ajoan, I'll vote for your governor, but vote for my senator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's compromise. Yeah. Well, you know, because, because um, you, uh, we know each other. I know your governor, mm -hmm. and you know the senator I'm supporting. Mm -hmm. Perhaps is my And why cousin. it's important mm -hmm. for you, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Help me with this, because you have no relationship with the governor candidate. You vote my mind, because I have a relationship. And I also vote your senator, mm -hmm. or such a thing. There are many ways of reaching to these unconvinced voters. And the unconvinced voter is also looking for a reason. Some are petty, petty reasons. Because some, some will say, why I'm not decided, I couldn't mention my wine is idea. Mm. Yeah, you see now. Yeah. Yes, uh, you see they say now until uh, and this idea, young people who will be voting this election have a habit 
uh, I hope will not be repeated now. They have happened in 17, uh, two times, happened in uh, 13. They say they hang around the polling stations or around the village shop, shopping centers and say, Sisi tunachagua yuda tatupea pesa. Kama unataka kura, wewe tupereke station. Yeah, they say, take us to the station to mm -hmm. vote for you. But you see now, that is electoral malpractice because mm -hmm. they are waiting for you to give them 100 shillings or 200 to go and cast you the vote. Because yeah. they are saying, mimi zina, mimi, for my case, for instance, mimi zina MP, mm. uh, yuda atakuja kunipereka station di anita, because they are hanging, yeah, they are, I would say mar marauding, marauding, maybe mm -hmm. the better word, yeah. just somewhere. Saying that they are not decided. It's not that they are not decided. They are decided, but they are not convinced. They are decided okay. on bribery. And, 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 and I need to is. understand this. Yeah. Uh, historically yeah. speaking, mm. uh, what are some of the things that have informed the indecisiveness? Uh, maybe to ask mm. you, uh, Ojuang, because this is pretty much common. And we ask ourselves why always we tend to experience this. What really informs this question where you find some people not really decided on where to vote? Uh, two things. One, uh, probably, just to say, uh, assuring support and uh, and, uh, and 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 uh, saying let IBC do their work uh, might not be a naive move. Mm. It might be understanding where we are and saying that uh, do your best with where we are. Mm -hmm. uh, that does not mean that uh, people sleep and not hold them accountable. Mm -hmm. They get a lot of money, though they complain that the same government dispersed the money much late and they have been a thorn in their flesh. Uh, but uh, again, I take with a grain of salt mm -hmm. Uh, there, there's a lady I saw with a sticker saying, I've already made up my mind, do not confuse me with your facts. Mm -hmm. uh, this is somebody <laughs> who is obviously decided, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want to hear facts. Mm -hmm. uh, I've decided to vote for Kinubia mm -hmm. for no good reason, mm -hmm. but that is my reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think, to some extent, it has become sexy and uh, fashionable for the so-called professional or middle class to in the middle of bipartisan to say I am undecided. Mm. They are lying to their teeth. And uh, I doubt that uh, the so-called undecided are that many. It is one crafted narrative to eat politicians' money. Okay. And I have campaigned myself. Even if you go to your opponent's stronghold, they tell you, Sisi hapa tujamua. Mm. Maybe you will be our candidate. Mm -hmm. It's a decoy uh, for you to <laughs> dig deeper and to be excited and get into manifestos with them. And they keep their mind. Secondly, there is cultural reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go to Mount Kenya people, uh, given maybe the Mau Mau and uh, maybe the Op and whatever, they are not forthcoming on the issue of their choices of election. Mm -hmm. They are not, they don't like so much political conversation with strangers, mostly with a pollster whom they don't know with a pen and a, and a clipboard mm -hmm. to tell them the truth. It is almost uh, an, an African way that I must trust you for me to really tell you my real mind. And s that is why, that's one of the reasons why we don't put much credence on the polls mm -hmm. uh, because if you find and i have experimented this uh, most people from mount kenya even the low people who is doing border border will hide their true nini and will ask you where are you leaning and confirm that that is where they are mm -hmm. uh, but if you find people from western if you find people oh boy if you find a loo uh, they will shout it at the rooftop. <laughs> this <laughs> is my position. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and, and so there is cultural disconnect. Right. And, and I think anthropologists can then further the study to understand. Mm -hmm. But I understand that because of the Mau Mau, uh, because I've asked people, and they're telling me because of them, they've become so much secretive, mm -hmm. where for a stranger, you don't tell them your mind. Mm -hmm. so, and that is why some of these polls we borrow from Western countries sometimes fail at the crucial your juncture. Mm. Uh, number three, so one, it is fashionable, it is sexy, it, uh, it makes you look 
cool and number two it makes you be wood better and not be taken for granted and maybe get goodies number three there is a cultural disconnect number four i just want to say i'm undecided for no good reason mm -hmm. to throw span at the work uh, but i know my vote because of the sacred uh, of it okay. or i come from a region where majority are going this way. And so if you come and ask me, amid my peers, 10 of us, uh, and they're all voting this way, uh, I will not tell you I'm voting with them because I'm not. Yeah. I'm going to either pick an likely candidate or I'm going to say I'm undecided. undecided. And I've seen it even among couples in Kenya where I met this couple and uh, the lady was telling me that what she did because the husband was fully invested on the main candidate, okay. he decided to adopt one of the least likely candidates to win, to avoid the controversy. The but yeah, deep yeah. inside she was on the other side. <laughs> the but but, but, but uh, to the husband <laughs> geniusness and kinoti <laughs> intelligence oh. uh, the day, the morning for the election, the husband hid the ID and they were both smiling <laughs> and they met for dinner table. One did not vote and then when the, woman, the wife's child won, mm -hmm. she will go to the bedroom and celebrate quietly and then come back and say, I'm sad that my <laughs> candidate is number five. That Let's is take a short break. Gentlemen, Let's take a short break. And then we, is it a short break or we're closing in totality? A quick short break and then we're coming back. <laughs> Despite being visually impaired, he is a jack of all trades. It is our quest to find answers on how to take care of children with special needs and those with disability. You do not need to see musical notes to understand music, but rather to have your soul feel the vibe. Actually, for us to make a wheelchair, we have to take measurements of the user. After doing my assessment, I get to know the parent, I get to know the, the heaviness she's carrying. Disability comes at different stages of life. What's happening around you? Morning Cafe with heated political debates. Baraza la Siasa. Informative health discussions. Business. Farming. Tasty Wednesday. Fitness Thursday. And Feel Good Friday. With amazing DJs, celebs. <laughs> <laughs> and music bands every Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. The next set of millionaires are farmers as we know agriculture has been and still is the backbone of our economy. As we traverse the different counties to meet different farmers, we ensure to get the story of how they started farming and even how they continue to penetrate the market and overcome the challenges. Hapa, the reason why in the acre goose in the sea ducks. Mm -hmm. Goose, they are very easy to maintain. A lot of farmers keep on calling, inquiring, uh, whether you are supposed to raise uh, some seeds yeah. uh, in the nursery or you are supposed to do them directly in the field. The greenhouse helps us control the temperature because the temperature needs to be between 28 to 32 degrees. Walk this journey with us every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. It's no secret, construction ain't cheap. But how do we make it affordable? Different individuals are finding ways of cutting down cost by use of pre-stressed slabs other than reinforced concrete, recycling plastics to make pavers. The brick is stronger, it's cheaper, and it's lighter. And recycling wastewater in your household. What happens to my waste from the from the washroom? Uh -huh. The solid waste, all that can break down. Those are just but a few. Every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m., we talk construction.
There's no alpha without an omega. There's no lead without any followers. No man is an island. We need each other. We need this conference. We say it, we do it, we act it. Come on, Mpenzi wako. Kila siku, kama on, Olivia Kila siku, mwishi mapenzi. We don't toe the line, we set the standard. We don't eat the grass, we lead the pack. As an alpha male, you're also a leader. Yeah. Not just women, friends, and family, but to everyone else you've never met before. We are the beauty, the spice, and the brains. The men's conference where men. A Karua ticket and say that uh, Karua and uh, Gashagwa had their debate, but uh, Ruto and uh, Odinga will not have uh, a debate because uh, Odinga considers uh, Ruto to be beneath his dignity, to be beneath his values, and therefore he cannot debate him. When he goes to Jericho, he's having a debate against William Ruto, only that Ruto will not be there to defend himself against the allegations that uh, Odinga is going to be making. And uh, he's giving Ruto also the opportunity to make allegations that uh, he will not be able to refute. So as a, a Kenyan, I would be happy to see the two getting together. I must give uh, William Ruto the benefit of the doubt in this context, in that um, his uh, competitor is afraid of him. He's uh, uh, reluctant to get there and be asked questions of integrity. What has he been doing as a co-president mm -hmm. in the Jubilee government? What does he know about the Triton scandal? What does he know about the Maze scandal and uh, the people he defended in that scandal when he was uh, working in the country as a prime minister? What does he know about the Afia Center of Tomboya Street? What does he know about the molasses? What does he know about Kenya Railway's property that has been stolen over the years? Because there, there are these subterranean things that people talk about and which relate to him. What does he know about the COVID billionaires? People who want to say that uh, they are fighting corruption should come with clean hands and they should allow themselves to come under scrutiny. You can't run away uh, from a debate and go and uh, uh, place yourself in another center of debate somewhere where you are afraid of meeting your interlocutor. I suspect Raila Odinga is afraid that he may not be able to stand up for 90 minutes to debate uh, William Ruto, who is given, gifted with a certain kind of uh, equity that Raila Odinga may not be able to rise up to the occasion. Is such the case, Zach? Well, I would want to invite the question to Dr. Uh, Dr. Barake. Mm -hmm. Did President Kenyatta attend the debate in 2017? He did not. Why? Was he a coward? He was afraid. Was he a coward? He was afraid. And, uh... Proceed, Doctor. Yeah. Let, 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 let him carry on. I've uh, made my statement. Oh, he was yeah. afraid. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes. Eh? Sometimes yes. uh, uh, we must also, from the podium of intellect, inter intellectual intellectualism, listen to reasons given by people in their quest to decide. Uh, and uh, from then, can we only interrogate uh, the veracity of decisions made? Raila Odinga mm -hmm. has, through his team, enumerated reasons why he may not be able to debate the presidential candidates who are presented in the podium only uh, among them only one he has singled out he cannot share the podium with and he say if he cannot leave mm -hmm. i will not come and because i am easier to leave than disorganizing the whole debate let the debate proceed, I will not come. Raila, it, it is not a must that Raila attended that thing. Even Ruto had threatened. If he did not, if he had made good his threat, we, he would still be understood. Because he would have his reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay, what would we say if Deputy President Ruto skipped the debate? Would he say he was a coward? I, I mean, yes. he would have given his reasons. He was a coward. Okay. Uh, uh, and and I think, he uh, was a coward. I think sometimes it's not cowardice. Well, well ca sometimes people get off out of cowardice. And I agree with him on that because on Nairobi debate, the candidates who skipped were cowards, and uh, some of them we know, because they cannot uh, they debate. They raised, they raised, uh, they said, they gave valid reasons as to why uh, yeah, they, but but some but of them uh, had traveled. No, 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 it's a lie. I'm mm -hmm. saying some we knew, okay, they were lying. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, but for Raila, Raila has stood on this two times. Mm. 
I think to say Raila may, may not be able to debate here, uh, sometimes is not informed on what he has been able to do before. Mm. Raila has debated on the presidential podium two times. 2017 and, and 2013. Okay. And uh, he and was he not defeated. Uh, Dr. Ali, uh, he was not defeated on, learn from his on logic. Mm. No, he was not defeated on logic. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was defeated <laughs> by numbers. Okay. It was not logic. Raila has not lost his tongue when debating. I mean, such a man, such a colossus, political colossus in this country cannot mm -hmm. be yeah, dismissed. Must appear colossus. He cannot. Uh, uh, I mean, if, 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 if the analysis as you make it, Dr. Barak, then would be he did poorly. Uh, maybe there are two things involved. He could learn from you know the mistakes that he did and proceed uh, to perform better. Or better yet, said, "Well, I am not really good at these debates, yes. and therefore I would rather stay away from it." Do you think that is what uh, Right Honorable Raila Odinga did, Duncan? Uh, I, I think that uh, you know the Mata Gashagua duel mm. has scared them uh, because uh, Gashagua was able to summon a few good English words <laughs> and send it off to war with dynasty mm. <laughs> as a, a hand grenade tossed on impunity. You really want us to go back to that? Uh, so and, and no, I'm mm. not. I'm, I'm drawing the context. <laughs> okay. Uh, so then, mm. having reviewed after that, uh, then uh, the decision came. Um, my point is that, uh, you know, if you are a, a reform candidate and not just at the lip service, then uh, you go there and stand next to the person you are saying is, uh, is not uh, that clean, and you, 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 you turn the lights on. You, you do not refuse to shine uh, because you are afraid of the darkness. Mm. Uh, but ultimately, you can realize that one of the good things I like with the debates is that it, it, it appeals and it moves from our regional and tribal politics. Mm. It is one of those good things where we are now talking to Kenyans as a nation uh, because most of the campaigns are regional. And so this gives a forum where you are now seeing all Kenyans here and you are seeing the head of state or the, so, uh, the, 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 the upcoming president address you as a group. That is important. Number two, if you look at it, uh, one of the role of the head of state and the chief diplomat is that he will be debating other head of states. Mm. So will he be running from uh, Sulu? Will he be running from, from, from Biden? Mm. Will he be running from, from Boris or from his successor? How long will you be running? Because your role as a head of state and things are more at stake there. If you cannot debate your kin and your fellow countrymen, and actually somebody who propelled you to be prime minister because he was your supporter, almost died for you. Ruto was, was almost shot at, at Orange House. Uh, you might not have been there, but we were out there f fighting for Raila. You cannot stand him. Then how can you stand a communist? with different ideology in the General Assembly floor. Mm -hmm. Are you going to run away? How are you going to go to OA and to IGAD meeting uh, where you are facing Somali and you have a, a border issue? You remember the, the maritime dispute issue. Are, are you also going to say, I cannot stand Somali because we are fighting in maritime issue? Are you going to be fit to be the president and to be the head of state and represent Kenya interest mm -hmm. if you cannot uh, take adversity, ad adversity, adversarial, and even to some extent negative context to deliver what you so much believe in. Mm. So it is not a good thing. I have my speculation of the reason uh, because at the end of the day or at the end of this debate, people come looking, you know. I was a fan of uh, the animal farm and, uh, uh, you know, tactics, tactics brothers. Mm -hmm. But at the end yeah. of the day, <laughs> uh, you are saying the pigs looked, uh, the, the animals looked into the house, mm. they saw the human, they saw the pigs, then they saw the human again, and then the pigs, and they said they could not see the difference. <laughs> now the reformers, the mm -hmm. after that debate, <laughs> they look at the reformer, they look at the so-called label corrupt by Kinoti, they looked again at the so-called reformer after the Martha debate, and they left they really after, the after Martha had admitted that 50,000 euros were put in a, a account for campaign. Mm. Then they said, so 
So then, the uh, former the prime minister is saying, let me keep whatever is left because you are piercing. You know, you, you cannot walk. Um, um, we are young people. I'm not that old. But I'm told that you cannot walk in life holding life like you are carrying eggs or a tissue paper or you have you will prick my tissue paper you must be tough than this okay yeah, you are so trivializing I, I think we are trivializing uh, uh, I'll be, a minute i think we are uh -huh. trivializing the skipping of debate by Raila team first is it too late for him to revisit his uh, and, and, and i know i know perhaps he will go mm. perhaps i don't know it is his team that has said we are we are considering skipping once he confirms he will not go, mm -hmm. and then he will, it's, it's tomorrow. We are talking about the day after today. It's mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe he still can himself Change decide he will go. And all the people now doubting him because of perhaps other others, uh, others are thinking he can't stand for 90 minutes, which is, a, which is a, an attack to his health, which is unfair. Mm -hmm. Others who are saying that he cannot debate uh, other people because they are better on some skills uh, is a lie. Mm -hmm. History has shown us otherwise. Raila has been the most charismatic political leader in the decades that has passed to date. Okay. Even mm -hmm. us, who have been defeating has him been. from Even the mountains, has been. Has yeah. been. Isn't, isn't past tense. No, has been. been. Mm. And now yeah. he is here again. <laughs> yeah. Because he has been, and now he is. The future still opens for him. Past and this is what I would say. What he said, Raila said that he cannot debate a pathological liar. He has a couple of, I mean, there are a couple of reasons as to what he raised. And I mean, this has been making rounds. There are reasons. And it's always there. And you see, if he goes to Unga, the General Assembly in New York, there are people who cannot study that ground because they have been barred by United Nations. Huh? Uh, secretariat. Uh, do you understand? Warlords, yes. Hmm. There are people who cannot be no, no, a head president. of state. Is there yes, head of state who cannot? Yes, they are there. Yes. <laughs> like, like a Syrian president. He cannot address the uh, United Nations. It's true. <laughs> Today. He, so they will ban whoever not, Raila does uh, not want to go No, after. I'm saying... Uh, uh, what's uh, the logic there? What, what you're saying yeah. is that uh, Raila will be running away from these things. Eh? He should face these things. Raila also cannot be allowed to debate individuals that he feels he not to really represent the that set of values that he thing. represents. Okay, uh, yeah. let's, 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 let's look at the world is a marketplace of ideas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I cannot yeah. debate. The world is a marketplace like of ideas. Uh, and I mean, there are instances where yeah. I have invited guests here. They tell yeah. you, who will I be with? Yeah, yeah. And they tell you, with all due respect. Yeah, yeah. That is country is But we are not seeking public office. All right. This is not Dr. Barak, Dr. Barak, is it too late for Right Rabu Raila Odinga to rethink, to revisit his decision? I've had reservations about uh, certain individuals and characters, but I still have come to the set. Yeah. I have expressed my reservations to your producers, but I have said that uh, in the greater interests of democracy, of freedom of space, I must come and listen to those uh, persons. Okay. I want to reiterate that uh, this is uh, cowardice. It is intolerance. In fact, it starts bordering on fascism that you are not able to sit down with a fellow citizen and uh, debate uh, him or her. That Raila Odinga has got the best opportunity to expose William to undress him, to demolish him, to tear him apart and turn him into tatters. And he's saying that I cannot come because he's infra digni. No. That is cowardice. You know that uh, the, the things you have been saying cannot stand the test of time. You have now been given the opportunity to be placed on the weighing scales. And it doesn't matter how much the likes of Zach Kan Kinudia are going to apologize for you. You are intolerant. You lack the intellectual depth, the emotional intelligence, and uh, the spiritual capacity and composure of the soul to be able to present yourself on that podium for 90 minutes and come out still a rational individual that people can believe but in. But you've been a different so podium. Is it too late? That the Mutuas have told him, don't go. He already presented himself there by proxy through Mata Karua. They should have rejected this thing from the word go. He has already been there and no amount of turning this thing around will work. It is cowardice, pure and simple. Well, it's interesting. It's not the debate he's rejecting. Yes. And I agree with him on that the part. Issues eh? that, that yes. The issues that, That the Azimio, Azimio uh, Brigade would have rejected even the deputy presidency. That would have been now a total indictment against the debate mm -hmm. and the organizers. Mm -hmm. But mother attended. It's not, it's not that Raila 
as a head of Azimio is against uh, this. Yeah, it is it is the individual, and he is clear. It is a, he has not said he cannot debate Wajakoya. Mm -hmm. And Wajakoya is an intellectual. Wajakoya is a huge intellectual with degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, well, because issues come crop. Let me ask you, why, why had Ruto threatened not to attend? In the first place. Yeah, he also threatened he would not attend. It's not that he was rejecting the debate. He was also saying, unless these issues are tabled this way, I will not attend. So what Even are these issues now? There, is, is there. To he remove the him. Ruto. So how are no, no, the, not remove him. The by the way, debate going to say now we have removed Ruto, you come. By the way, Dr. because I believe you, you are in your capacity. Do you want us to read capacity. this for you, uh, I believe this man. Eh? I believe uh -huh. it when he speaks because he makes a lot of it. But he must also read the reasons that were given. We may criticize uh, I've, Raila. I've read it, so. They are there. Read Those it, reasons yes. are there. I did and, for him. and they have been given clearly hmm. for the public to scrutinize the reason, hmm. even before we scrutinize but, but uh, Raila Odinga as a person. But can you say, let me ask you. Hmm. Uh, you, 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 are, you are running, yes. uh, including with some people you hmm. feel are beneath you, yes. but they are your competitors. Yes. Yes. And they hold a vision mm. for that uh, constituency, mm, sure. even though you don't uh, agree mm, with them. Talk, is yeah. it you to become the super MP candidate mm. to vet who is worthy to be a candidate mm. or mm. not? Or yeah. you are also a candidate. There's it's a, like going to a KCSE yeah. exam mm. and you are the one who is what now are, examining yeah. the examiners. No, you are a candidate like any other. My Can I read this out is, this? This or is my answer. This is my answer. This is my answer. Yes. this is my answer to your question. Mm. I cannot determine who is best suited for the job I'm looking for, but I can decide to excuse myself. Yeah. It is, it is, and that it should is, be respected. So yeah, that should be respected. That. Yeah. Okay. But, but, but then, argue and undoing for yeah. him. It can be respected, yeah. and it should be respected, but people can still say, ouch, that's not a good decision. Yeah, and yeah, that's all we are saying. Yeah. Nobody's going to, to, to go to Raila's place, no, but tie him on a rope, you're going bring personal. him screaming yeah. and kicking, you're, you're and going, say you will debate no, Ruto but, by force. But, but Nobody's personal. doing that. Why I disagree with both of you and Dr. Ari, uh, Muluka, with the respect and honor you deserve, that's because fine. you are my seniors, is that you are going personal. When you say that uh, this man cannot start 90 he minutes, cannot debate his competitor. Well, that is as yeah, personal. Yeah, that is personal. Uh, look at our constitution values: yeah. open society, open democratic society. Mm -hmm. Which means this is the meaning of that is in the values. He believes in values, don't he? Because he believes yeah. in chapter nine, article ten. Because you are a man of good open humor. Because you are a man of good values. humor. Can you date as, can, can you can you date a dramatic woman? Is this open? No, no. I'm just values? asking you. Can you, okay, date can a dramatic you listen woman? to what Barack has to say? <laughs> <laughs> Barack, no. Barack, what do you have to say? Yes. You are yeah, a rejoinder you know, for that. Uh, <laughs> Barack Zanka wishes to respond to Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's listen to Barack. Barack, what do you have to say? I'm saying that Zach Kinudia is ringing himself in circles because he is uh, supporting an untenable position mm -hmm. that himself, usually as a Democrat, does not believe in. He would not normally believe uh, in that kind of uh, thing, and uh, he must be having a, a huge problem. He's even saying that we are going personal. He's forgetting that the things which have been labeled, labeled against uh, Dr. William Ruto are personal. He's talking about values. He's forgetting that the values that are an individual embeds are personal, mm -hmm. uh, embodies are personal. And so, uh, Zach Kinudia, Yes. Let us accept that if uh, Raila Odinga thought that uh, the Kenya Kwanza fellows were unworthy of uh, debating, he should have made it very clear from the outset that uh, he was not going to attend that debate. But he waits until after Martha Karua has gone there, and uh, there's this mythical belief that uh, she's going to whitewash uh, regarding the Shagwa, only to end up performing this Mali, and they start asking themselves what else is going to be said, what is going to come out in the presidential debate. And then they start looking around. You know, a drowning person will cringely clutch at straws. And that is what we are witnessing here, that you are drowning, you are clutching at straws, trying to save yourself, to say that we are not going to debate this person. What has been happening on the stamps everywhere they are going is that they are debating. When you come to Bungoma in the absence of William Ruto and you make him the point of reference, you are debating. When William Ruto goes to Kilifi and he makes Raila Odinga the focus of uh, his uh, public elocution, they are debating. And now you are being told, just come together and uh, let us finish this thing once and for all. 
you become afraid, you are a coward. It means that everywhere else that you go, don't mention the word Ruto. Don't mention the, 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 the person that uh, you are considered to be competing against because he's infra digging. But you cannot be going to Ofafajeriko to talk about the same person and you're saying that he's beneath your, your dignity to discuss. He's either beneath your dignity or he's not. And if he's beneath your dignity, then never refer to him at all. To the extent that you refer to him, it does not matter where you are. Ask Douglas Johnson and Abraham Lincoln, and they will tell you that they were talking about one another all over the place until they were brought together to begin what has, in the fullness of time, evolved into presidential debates. So you are still debating, and the only thing you are afraid of is a face-to-face -face setting with this person and it betrays intolerance it betrays cowardice it betrays uh, dishonesty and it betrays uh, a huge level of uh, fascism well barack i'll start with you on the parting shots 30 seconds so i can come to the other gentleman tomorrow tuesday is going to be a critical day the 26th that people who have not made up their mind on who they vote for would like to listen to the two presidential uh, candidates who are considered to be the leaders in this race and the two gentlemen must come forward because we have questions in our minds in our hearts about their integrity about their visionary agenda for this country and about their past and therefore about their present and the future and about values that they have uh, purported to espouse. We want to see them on the weighing scales of integrity, on the weighing scales of vision, and to make up our minds about them. Anyone who does not turn up, does not uh, d d deserve any further consideration as the national CEO for this country. This is a country in which we must tolerate one another, and we must tolerate the right of the other person to be heard no matter how much we disagree with that individual, mm -hmm. we must protect their right to be heard. And therefore, this opportunity must demonstrate that these individuals are okay. Democrats. Beyond that, I appeal to all of us to remain sober within what is left of this period, to go out and vote soberly and to keep the peace. Asante, Dr. Barak Muluka. Duncan uh, uh, well, one minute. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I, I think uh, let me uh, remind our leader that we admire, Raila, that you said to build a bridge. You offered your hand uh, to shake the hands of those who had different visions. Uh, live that dream. Uh, build the bridge now by standing there and debating your opponent, not your enemy, but your opponent, uh, because you can't keep running. You can't keep running uh, forever. Life will surely catch up with you. And it is the requirement, actually, uh, for a democratic society to have different visions and open society to debate and have a public discourse mm -hmm. on important issues mm -hmm. and not shrink into cocoons. As they say in America, if you can lie in one thing, you can lie in all things. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I like the, you know, what Americans say, look at me straight on the eye and tell me that lie, I will see it. Uh, people should grasp those opportunities. Finally, I think that, uh, again, Kinoti, the interfacias intermedia, <laughs> you messed up with, uh, with Haji, uh, DPP, court told you no, the role of steering the election does not belong to you. Uh, if, the, you are, if there is a problem with Chebukati, there is commission of inquiry, there is a process of interrogating. Nobody is above the law. But don't shoot from the hip and don't pull drama uh, just because uh, you have realized that uh, the, 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 the so-called deep state uh, cannot deliver or do what they want. This election will be done. It is hard to rig it, but Kenyans should walk and uh, let us revisit our anger, our disappointment, our hopes in the ballot. Thank you. Thank you. Zach. I cannot see Haji fallout 
should be interrogated on facts mm. because uh, one Kenya Kwanza has been insisting Kenoti is wrong because he seemed to have touched the raw nerves of some of the leaders in Kenya Kwanza the and therefore and therefore he is he is a villain mm. to to them but he is a hero to some of us and uh, it would be important to say some of these jobs he's doing is not for his family some of these jobs he's doing are the jobs the office should be doing perhaps even with uh, his passion is more visible than the office holders who have been before him. Let me put it this way, that uh, from us who are contesting, from where we are sitting, I would want to put it very clear that you can tell your competitors when they are speaking nonsense. Mm. And you can t if you decide to play a clean course, you can tell when you have c your competitors are even saying things about you that do not exist. Okay? Mm. Things even personal about family and whatever, insults and uh, some of these things. If you are given a chance, if you are mature, that you are given a chance where now people are interrogating both of you as one ages, and uh, we are aging also with time, you tend to get out of drama, out of uh, non-confrontation, non, non confrontation. Yes, that's a better word, confrontation. Because at Raila's age, Confrontation may not be necessary. Even much talk is not necessary. There, there was a time in 2007 when he would have enjoyed the duel. Mm. Right now, he cannot enjoy things that are not governed by what he said. Because he said, on this corruption, I would want to know what time is allocated. On governance, I want to know time allocated. And on these things, so that when I come, I'm ready to debate. He is not saying that he cannot stand uh, criticism of whether he has been involved in scandals. He is not saying that he cannot stand criticism. And he's not saying also that... He's, not, he's coming to, to, to put into the face of Ruto all the things that have been said. He is also a statesman who has known things could be said that do not exist. Most of the things also said about Ruto. He's not coming to prove them. He's, it is not his role to come and prove what people have been saying about Ruto. It's about him putting his vision to the people. And therefore, this is what I would want to, take, to, 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 to tell uh, our Kenyans listening. Let us interrogate the people. We know them. Nobody cannot, nobody doesn't know Raila Ruto or Jakoya Mori. Nobody doesn't know the civic leaders you are choosing from your region. As you listen to them, as you interrogate them, and as you cast your ballot, cast a ballot of reforming the life as we have it now. Mm -hmm. Cast a ballot of standing with value and integrity. Because when we are building the country economically, it can grow. But if you continue de denigrating on the values, the set of values that our country cherish, the constitutional national open values, mm -hmm. open society, yes, also one of oh. it. It is important that we continue building on this. Yeah. You may not be right all the day, but someday we shall be right. When an individual win and the country loses, we are at loss. Mm. But if an individual would lose and a country win, why not? So it is important for us yeah. to continue building on a better country where Dr. Ojuang will be celebrated someday as a man who came and left something for oh, those who come after well, him. Well put. Zach, the same mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. And as this man serializes his book, mm -hmm. the former President Mo is a press secretary. Yeah. There are very important nuggets there about okay. who should not get into leadership because of what he saw with the leaders who came. And one is jealousy. The other one is vengeance. If you are jealous and you are vengeful, that if I get this, we, uh, uh, we need to read so that. I'm asking, yeah, it's a very good book. Yeah, it will yeah, be yeah. launched this week. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, jealousy and hatred mm -hmm. and vengeance mm -hmm. should not be found when Raila wins. Okay. When Ruto wins. No, cowardice is good. We have to come out of this. You know, you've not even spoken to the people of Kegu. No, we cannot. No, 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 we cannot. No, no, not for anybody. I'm not speaking for anybody. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. I'm actually saying, I'm actually telling you that it is important that people respect each other when they take office. If Ruto will be president, he should respect Raila. If Raila becomes president, Definitely. You know, one I of know the things him. I wanted us to Ruto. discuss is the he hunt because they have declared that they are going to hunt. No, it is nonsense. I don't know Anybody, where. Okay. Nobody is talking about hunting. All right. It, it, mm. so, when you say that we're going to make sure that we bring so back the land. So let me ask my let me ask my kibuzo. That, that is let not me. That is let me. Implementing. Okay. okay. Let me ask the, my uh, let me ask my kibuzo people to continue holding my hand, and as we cast our ballot on 9th, I am looking forward to represent you in Parliament.